Good evening, everyone, and we welcome you into the nest here on the campus of Hilton Head High School, where tonight WHHI Sports presents the Highway 278 Bowl with the Hilton Head High Seahawks hosting the May River Sharks. I'm Chris Tremblay, joined by Jeff Shane and Bob Stevens. And Bob, I'm going to start with you first. We have a Hilton Head team that started out 3-0, but they're coming in a little wounded. A, a whole lot wounded. A whole lot wounded. A, a whole lot wounded, and it really affects a lot of things. You can't just plug and play with the second best you know, defensive linemen or offensive linemen in this case. Hilton Head High missing two of their offensive linemen. They've got to move guys from other places, which means they've got to move other guys into their spots. Uh, the domino effect uh, means you've got a whole lot of guys who aren't playing where they're supposed to be playing. We're also going to be missing the show, Sterling White, a uh, terrific receiver who's got Division One written all over him. Uh, he's been nursing all kinds of different injuries. They're not going to try to play him tonight uh, so that he can rest up and be ready for region play in a couple of weeks. And some missing somebody like him, not only for his productivity, but what he does for spreading the offense because the defense has got to focus on him, and that's not going to be the case for May River tonight. Right. May River's going to have the opportunity to, to focus, uh, shift the focus a little bit. I tell you what, though, Hilton Head High has a whole lot of very young weapons. Uh, we're going to see a great young quarterback today for Hilton Head High for the first time uh, that I, I think it's going to be fun. And he's already thrown for 818 <laughs> yards this year in three games, so he's off to a good start. Jeff, let's move over to May River, a team that is in some very strange territory for them. They, you know, they're in year three, and obviously the first two years were building years, and they took their lumps, but this year they're out to a 3-0 and start. They have already set a school record for wins in a season. If they win tonight, they will double their win total for the entire history of the school. <laughs> so there's a, there's a lot of excitement going on and, and well deserved. They have been very dominant in all three of their games. They're a team that primarily runs. Their runners are all averaging, it seems like, over six yards a carry. But they came out and did a little throwing early in the game last week to throw things up on a whale branch a little bit. They really did. Uh, Bob and I were talking about a run-oriented game all week, and then they came out and threw the first three downs of the game. <laughs> Ahmad Green is only a sophomore. He is a natural runner, and he is getting better as a passer. He threw for over 200 yards last week. All four touchdowns from May River came through the air and you use that as a counterbalance to what they can do with that offensive line and Brandon Morales, this makes May River even that more potent. And Brandon Morales was their runner as a freshman. Last year he didn't see much action. Cam Adams sort of took the ball and ran with it this year, or last year. But now Brandon Morales is really caught on fire. And he runs with purpose. Yeah. And that's because he got banished to JV last year. <laughs> uh, he doesn't do anything particularly outstanding except run hard and he does that behind perhaps the best offensive line in the low country. We ought to have a great one here for you tonight. Once again, 3-0 Hilton Head against 3-0 May River. When we come back, we're gonna to talk to the coaches. First up will be Coach Rodney Summers of the May River Sharks. We'll be back right after this. Hilton Head Island's pristine beaches are one reason the area has boomed over the past 50 years, and Hilton Head Exterminators was there in the beginning. We covered the island, protecting homes and businesses as the island's first pest control company. Since then, we've expanded to protect homes and businesses beyond the island into Bluffton and the surrounding low country. Everywhere you look, you'll see one of our vehicles. Hilton Head Exterminators, here in the beginning, and we're still here, growing along with the communities we protect. The life lessons that I learned playing football are priceless and started much earlier than my NFL career. As part of a team, I learned accountability, discipline, and the value of hard work. But the most important lesson is safety. Keep your kids safe during practice and during the game. Educate yourself and your kids. Learn the symptoms of concussions and how to prevent them. Everything starts with fundamentals, but remember, safety is first. For more information, visit PeacockLoves.com. I'm a first generation student. I needed a career change. I decided to go back to school, to TCL. I thought that returning to school would be more difficult, but the uh, multiple financial aid opportunities, the support and encouragement from the staff and faculty was more than I could have ever expected. I'm a second year radiologic technology student. I'm pursuing a career in x-ray. My name is Kelly and I made it happen, no matter what. 
And we welcome in May Riverhead coach Rodney Summers. Coach, off to the start you were looking for 3-0. and Assess what you've seen so far this year. Uh, just uh, heart. Our guys have just worked hard, and uh, they've got heart. They've come out and played well. Um, we hadn't turned the ball over offensively, which is uh, knock on wood. It's been uh, good for us. So that's been, uh, you know, I think a key for us offensively and defensively. You know, we just hadn't given it the big play uh, consistently like we have in the past two years. So um, if we can play strong defensively and then force them three and out and hang on to the ball and grind it out a little bit, I think we'll be successful. Last couple weeks you've been here on WHHI Sports with us. You've taken home a little bit of hardware. Have you found a place to put it? Hey, uh, we've got to get some shelves built. Uh, they didn't, they, I don't think they're prepared for that, so uh, we got to get some uh, shelves built over there for, in my office. <laughs> with the team being 3-0, obviously this is different territory for you. How do you keep the guys grounded? Obviously they've got to be pleased with what they're doing, but the focus has got to be straight ahead. Yeah, I mean, you know, we talk about that windshield mentality, just looking forward. Let's don't rest on our uh, past and uh, learn from our past, but let's make sure we're looking forward and focus on this game this week. You've been running the ball very, very well. You've been scoring points, holding the opponents down. But last week you came out and threw a little bit early in, you know, in the game on first down and all. You want to give us a little sneak peek what we might see tonight? Well, you know, um, last week we were, our intentions every week is to run the football. But uh, once it gets, you know, when it, and they pack the box and they give you some one-on-ones, uh, we just take some shots. So uh, we'll do the same tonight if it's there. And I look for a very similar game plan tonight. And, uh, you know, hopefully the, uh, we'll, we'll come out on top. Coach, thanks so much for spending time with us. Thank you. Appreciate it. When we come back, we'll have Hilton head coach B.J. Payne right after this. Home is that magical spot where weekends happen. It's tea parties and superheroes. It's one more bedtime story. It's your first, your last, and everything in between. Home is where you belong. We get it. Whether it's your first home, your next home, or your dream home, we want to build you the very best home for your life. Let us help you get started. VillageParkHomes.com. Close to everything, far from ordinary. Beam Graphics Printing Company. We specialize in custom printing, screen printing, embroidery, engraving, trophies, team uniforms, business uniforms, signs and banners, and much more. We are conveniently located in the heart of Bluffton at 12 Johnston Way across from the post office. For all your printing needs, call the locals at Beam Graphics, 843-837-9663. You can also check us out online at beamgraphics.com and like us on Facebook for specials and design ideas. Have you been hurt on the job, injured in a car accident, experiencing marital difficulties? Nairt and Dubois are attorneys located on the south end of Hilton Head Island. With their extensive experience and knowledge of the law, they can help you on your legal matter. Nairt and Dubois offer free initial consultation. So whether you have been hurt on the job, injured in a car accident, or experiencing marital difficulties, call the attorneys of Nairt and Dubois now to schedule an appointment to learn about your legal rights. With the head coach at Hilton Head High, B.J. Payne, uh, off to a 3-0 and start. Excited? Um, it's, been, it's been interesting. You know, we, we, you know, we've had a lot of injuries. We've had to lump our way through. And uh, well, See, I was waiting for the second question to tell you to talk about the injuries. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, we're, we're very happy with where we're at to be 3-0. and um, But at the same time, you know, we got to have some guys step up. And, uh, you know, like I tell our kids, you know, you don't always get to take the prettiest girl to prom. Sometimes you just got to be happy you got a date. So sometimes we just got to be happy with wins. You've got all these injuries, half a dozen guys probably not starting. In the NFL or in the college level, okay, someone steps in and plays. But at this level, you've got to move somebody over, then move somebody else in. So you, how many guys have you really got playing the position you would like them to be playing tonight? Right. When you count in special teams, you're probably looking at like 15 different positions, and that's a difficult thing. You know, we, don't, you know, our numbers are what they are. You know, they've always been that way. You know, we don't have tons of depth, so we got to have guys really step up. And our guys that are guys that are, you know, that are dudes that are still playing really got to step up and play out of their minds so um you know I, I hope they're you know up to the challenge tonight and you know in about three hours i'll tell you whether they stepped up or not could this rivalry become like the bluffton game i mean do these guys start to know each other and still know each other or is everybody separated now? you know I, th I think i think between the three schools sure. you know i think it's kind of like a you know a a triangle of rivalry. Obviously, I think theirs is going to be a little bit bigger, you know, because of the past from Bluffton and May River. But, uh, you know, we have nothing but respect with it for them. You know, they do an excellent job coaching staff-wise, schematically. Um, they, they really do a fantastic job. And I've said that about Rodney and the staff. They're amazing. Key for you guys tonight. Uh, What's the one thing you want to make sure goes right to give you a chance to win? 
You know, we gotta we gotta control the ball. You know, we have to have ball security, and uh, you know, we gotta make plays, and you know, we gotta stop the run. You know, if, if we can at the end of the day, if you know Ahmad throws the ball forty times, then that'll be a good good position for us. But you know, uh, that's a that's a big task. You know, they do such a great job. All right, good luck to you tonight. Appreciate Thanks it. so much. All right, head coach B.J. Payne at Hilton Head High. We're gonna be back with the national anthem and then the opening kickoff when we continue on WHHI. At Georgia Southern University, we're setting the standard for higher education in Southeast Georgia on three exciting campuses in Savannah, Statesboro, and Hinesville. We're offering more opportunities for hands-on learning, more ways to help our students find a career, and more economic impact on our region. At Georgia Southern University, discover more, connect more, be more. Florida and South Carolina residents get in-state tuition at our Armstrong and Liberty campuses. Turbyville Insurance Agency has you covered in Beaufort, Bluffton, and throughout the Lowcountry. We are your independent insurance agency who will give you choices for peace of mind on your home, auto, business, life, health, and retirement plans by finding the best combination of price, coverage, and service. At Turbyville Insurance, we'll keep up with your changing insurance needs and are committed to customer satisfaction. Call us today and experience the Turbyville difference. Hilton Head PSD offers convenient and secure online billing. Just have your PSD bill handy and click on the online bill payment button at hhpsd.com. You'll be guided through the steps to establish your online billing account. Their payment options allow you to set up recurring credit card payments, you can view your consumption history, and more. Remember to have your PSD bill handy when you visit hhpsd.com to get started. Hilton Head PSD, we're always working for you. Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your Touchstone Energy Partner. Let's take a moment to honor America with a plane of the National Anthem proudly sponsored by OT Decor. Visit otdecor.com to transfer your home into your American dream. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early from the nest on the campus of Hilton Head High School where the May River Sharks in white will be kicking off to Hilton Head High. Both teams come in at 3-0. I'm Chris Tremblay joined by Bob Stevens. Long kicker Nick Lewis gives it a good boot down inside the five taken there and met resoundly by the May River kickoff team is number 24 
Laveris Brown, and immediately Hilton Head's going to start out deep in their own territory. Caleb Folk making the tackle, one of those great linebackers for Bay River. We'll be watching them play uh, hard throughout the night, trying to shut down the uh, Hilton Head High offense. Jordan Barrow, Eli Hall, Folk, and Ridge Dow, the four across the middle for May River. Gaston Moore in a quarterback for Hilton Head. He's in the shotgun. First and 10 for Hilton Head as they get things rolling here. And a little sideways pass over there to Will Firth who maybe picks up a yard and a half and that's all he gets. Will Firth, a lacrosse player, a very good lacrosse player, a division one lacrosse player was asked, hey, you want to bring that leadership of the lacrosse team onto the football team? B.J. Payne was able to talk him into it. He's just a junior playing really his first year of competitive football, has run for over 100 yards and three touchdowns early this season. Second and eight now, Moore trying to go to the air again, and he's not finding anything, and he'll be dropped back on the 15, maybe the 16-yard line. Rich Dow with the sack, another one of those linebackers. 40 tackles, three for a loss this season, and now his second sack of the season. Dow, one of the leading tacklers in the low country last year, is picked up right where he left off, anchoring this May River defense that's only given up about 11 points a game so far this year. Third and 13 now for Hilton Head, and we have a draw Oops. play to Will Frith, and that's going nowhere, and immediately Hilton Head's gonna be three and out. Caleb Folk making the play, the senior who has his second tackle for a loss this season. He had 21 tackles last week against Quail Branch. Well, Bob, it already seems as though we're seeing what B.J. Payne talked about earlier with the offensive line being a little banged up and May River exploiting that right out of the gates. Yeah, two of the starting guards for Hilton Head High out for this game. They've had to be replaced by tackles moving over, and then you've got guys moving back, and creating some issues for Hilton Head High Jacob roster wise. Weaver's punt takes a favorable bounce all the way down to the May River, close to it looks like the 37 or so yard line and that's where the Sharks will take over. Great job by Jacob Weaver on that punt. He got the favorable bounce for sure, got about 14 extra yards out of it. It'll set up the Sharks at their own 38. Coming in a quarterback is the sophomore Ahmad Green who had a wonderful season last year as a freshman. He's 26 for 35 through the air so far, 74% with eight touchdowns. And immediately it looks like somebody went going a little quick. Let's see what referee Steven Kynard has to say. Approach him fence. He had very little to say. He didn't have much to say. We have an encroachment on the Hilton Head defense. This will bring up first and five. <laughs> but his actions spoke louder than words. They, we were able to pick up what it was he was calling. That's all that matters, right? Green is in the shotgun, which he'll operate out of probably most of the night. And there goes the ball right there to Micah Burton who's done most of his damage through the air so far this year. He's had, averaging 21.3 yards per catch. Is that George? Roger Grant, I'm sorry. Grant, a defensive lineman brought into the backfield. He's starting because the regular starter, Brandon Morales, missed practice on Oops. Monday. Oops. Green takes it, he's gonna go on the right side. He gets to about midfield and that's all. That'll bring him about I'm second and nine. Down for a game of one the yard line. The May River sideline all decked out. Nine. Beach night. Hey, they're coming from inland. They're coming to the <laughs> island. The they're coming to, the to go to the beach and it's a, it was the day for the beach here. Temperatures sure. reaching right around 90 degrees. Second and nine now from May, for May River from midfield. And the ball goes again right to Roderick Grant, and he's got himself about Rod seven Grant yards. That'll bring up third and short. About seven on the play. He's Rode got that Jerome Bettis build. 
built like a defensive lineman, he actually is. plays nose tackle because he is. <laughs> Third down at about three. Interesting play call coming up now for Ahmad Green. Normally, May River would run after last week. We're not so sure. And there we go again. Roderick Grant goes straight forward. He's down to about the 35, 36 yard line. Cole DeMarzo with the tackle for Hilton Head High. He's one of the three co-captains for the Seahawks tonight. All three of them having to play both ways. DeMarzo, a terrific safety with 23 tackles and seven passes broken up this season. Fairly quickly up to the line of scrimmage, May River. Green once again takes a shotgun snap. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to go forward and he's got a little room to run. He picks up about four. I'm out green with the carry. He negotiated more traffic than morning drive trying he to get was, across the bridge. <laughs> he exactly, he was doing a lot of side swerving there, changing lanes. And that never works when you try to change lanes. You feel like it's going to get you in a faster lane, and then the other lane starts to move. <laughs> There's a Murphy's Law about that, yeah. I think. He did gain four. Second and six, May River plodding down the field here in their first possession. Green takes it once again. Roderick Grant dead forward in the nose guard, generally on defense, is running the ball down the field. I wonder, if, I wonder if Grant's a wrestler because it looked like he had Cole DeMarzo pinned there at the end of that play. He just wanted to keep on going. Slowing him down was Makai Aiken, number eight, a junior defensive back who got him around the ankles and at least impeded the progress for DeMarzo to make the play, but still a first down for the Sharks. May River starting out a little differently than they did last week. They haven't put it up in the air yet. They're just going to move it downfield on the ground for the time being. Ahmad Green keeps it. He's got a little bit of a hole. And he might have picked up one, maybe two. Set up that May River offensive line. They have been so terrific this year. Joseph Whitaker at left tackle, 67. Big man Ferguson, the left guard, 69. Gabe Long, the co-captain, 77. He's the center. Connor Kovacs at right guard, 73. And Will Wilson, number 70, the right tackle, just a sophomore. And they're opening some holes right now for May River as they're just plotting it downfield here in their first possession. And the ball goes again to Roderick Grant, and he's got some room to run, and he gets it down maybe just inside the 10-yard line. Another first down for May River. That's a pretty good movement. Uh, it's pretty light on his feet for a defensive tackle. As he got about six or seven more than he probably should have and gets it down to the 10-yard line. It'll be first and goal at the 10 for May River. May River started at their own 38 and they've just run it downfield the whole way. Nothing through the air yet. Green's going to take it. Green's going to keep it. And Green is going to go in for a TCL touchdown. May Green River the opens touchdown. the scoring here in the Highway 278 bowl. And Bob, that offensive line's just opening holes. And if Roger Grant doesn't get it, Ahmad Green takes it. And he just waltz 10 yards right into the end zone. Great hole opened up, just enough room on the right-hand side there from Kovacs and Wilson and skating right in for the 10-yard score is Ahmad Green. Bryce Summers comes in, or no, I'm sorry, it's not Bryce Summers. That's Daniel Matute for the extra point, and it is good, and just like that, May River moves it down the field, and they own a 7-0 lead here in the Highway 278 Bowl. Ready for a new look in your home? It's time for some new ceramic tile or stone from Creative Interiors Carpet One. We feature the area's largest selection of ceramic tile, stone, and decorative mosaics to fit your unique style. Our long history with top manufacturers let us offer the best prices on all the major brands. We'll help you with what works best for your lifestyle and take the time to discuss your options. Locally owned, we're your neighbors here at Creative Interiors of Buford. For all your floor covering needs, visit us at Creative Interiors Carpet One on Boundary Street in Buford. Hilton Head Island's pristine beaches are one reason the area has boomed over the past 50 years, and Hilton Head Exterminators was there in the beginning. 
We covered the island, protecting homes and businesses as the island's first pest control company. Since then, we've expanded to protect homes and businesses beyond the island into Bluffton and the surrounding low country. Everywhere you look, you'll see one of our vehicles. Hilton had exterminators here in the beginning, and we're still here, growing along with the communities we protect. Looking for a unique lighting fixture that'll have everyone talking? Check out OT Decor. We have thousands of lighting fixtures that are perfect complements to your house. We carry Kitchler, Monte Carlo, Murray Feist, Savoy House, Siegel, and more. Visit our website at otdecor.com to find the perfect accent for your home. Or stop by our showroom and visit with our experienced professionals for a personal touch. While you're here, check out our custom cabinets and vanities. And May River with a 7-0 lead kicks off here with 6.30 left in the first quarter. Hilton Head looking to start from a little better field position, and that's what they're going to get. Jeff Gordon on the receiving end of that, and they're going to start on the 25-yard line. Let's go over to Jeff Shane on the sideline. Well, the injury bug for the Seahawks did not take long to show up tonight. Laveris Brown, the freshman who returned the opening kickoff, came straight to the bench after the kickoff, has been sitting on the bench, and has had his left shoulder worked on. His pads are off. He's got ice on the shoulder. Not sure if he's going to be able to return tonight, but he's one of those that was supposed to take the place of Sterling White and Nate Brown. Back to you guys. Thank you, Jeff. His sideline report is brought to you by Turbyville, your local independent insurance agency that has you covered throughout the low country. First down for the Seahawks as they're looking to get something started and a quick five right there by number 12, Will Krent. As we mentioned early, a lacrosse player who's decided to do a little something this fall and play some football. He kind of in the shoes of what Thomas Farrell did a couple years ago. Yes, he did. Those lacrosse players are terrific athletes. I wouldn't want to get whacked by a stick for 60 or so minutes a night, would you? <laughs> first pass of the evening right there from Gaston Moore. It's enough for a first down. He finds his target, Deontay Richard, who comes into the game with nine receptions for the year. And he just got number 10. Big first down right there for Hilton Head. They needed to establish a little something. Just get something going. Richard, four catches for 146 yards last week against Battery Creek. He is their weapon tonight, a uh, home run hitter, you might say. He had 17 touches coming into this game for almost 400 yards. Moore operating out of the shotgun, as you'll see both quarterbacks do all evening. Throws it over to the right side again. He's got his man, number two, Cole DeMarzo, and he's got the ball out to just shy of midfield. Pretty close to a first down. I think it might be enough. B.J. Payne very high on Cole DeMarzo. There he shakes one tackle and almost two before finally being brought down by Jordan Barrow. One of those four great May River Shark linebackers. Hilton Head just shy of midfield. They're spreading it out a little bit here. Looking to the sideline now is Gaston Moore as they're going to change things up a little bit. Back to throw it again. Quick little pass. He gets his target there again. Cole DeMarzo, and it's a quick pick up of five. So the Seahawks get themselves into shark territory for the first time with just under five minutes left here in the first quarter. Technical College of the Low Country, make it happen no matter what. Hilton Head High is trying to spread it out again. They're sending three wide receivers to the top of your screen. They've just got to give Gaston Moore enough time. Now they bring in Richard. There's the run right there. Deontay Richards taking a little loop over there to the right sideline. He picks up a couple more. Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet, before you buy, give us a try. Sort of a modified jet sweep there for Deontay Richard. He moved from his flanker position, came into the backfield, and then took the ball. It wasn't really quite the jet sweep that we've come to see so often in the college game. Third and two now from just inside the 42-yard line. 
Hilton Head on the move tonight on their second possession, 348 left in the first quarter. Little quick pass they've had some success with so far. That one falls incomplete, and that'll bring up fourth and down. Fourth down. Village Park Homes, your true hometown builder. Close to everything, far from ordinary. Four step, quick turn. Hopefully the ball's there, but the ball was a little high and wide, and the Seahawks on fourth down are gonna decide what to do here. They're gonna decide, it looks like, to go for it. Why not? They're going for it with Deontay Richard in back there, ready to take the snap. He takes it and he's going to run with it and he's got himself a first down and that's just what the Seahawks needed to keep things alive. With the way May River went down the field the first time, the last thing they wanted to do was give it right back to him and Deontay Richard converts and gets them a fresh four. A Seahawk in the Wildcat gets him the first down. Michael Ludwig making a tackle. Turbyville Insurance, your local independent insurance agency that has you covered throughout the low country. First and 10 now for the Seahawks from the May River 37 yard line. Moore throws it over to the right side there to Jeff Gordon. Gordon gets some, gets a little something there, picks up the better part of five. And Hilton had now starting a plotted downfield. Gordon, a senior who had eight catches coming into the game. Nice about bit of blocking there by Cole DeMarzo. Yep, took about three sharks to pull him down. Be second and five. Elite Physical Therapy, be an advocate for your health care. You have a choice. Choose the best. Two thirty now left in the first quarter. May River leads it seven nothing. Ball is on the ground. It appears as though the Seahawks kept it. And uh, no, it looks like May River has it. And just like that, when the Seahawks appear to have something going, a little miscue there, and May River gets the ball back. Jordan Barrow with the fumble recovery. And we have our first turnover of the evening. Yeah, May River a plus five on turnovers already this season. That will, of course, make them plus six. And they get the ball for just the second time. And yet we're down to the 224 mark here left in the first quarter. Peacock Auto Mall. Find it all at Peacock Auto Mall. B.J. Payne told us Hilton Head High really needed to have ball security win the turnover battle, and that was their best shot to win when they are as undermanned as they are. Ahmad Green takes the ball and he hands it off immediately there. Roderick Grant again. And Grant's gonna get, it seems though at this point, some serious double duty tonight. Elijah Thompson, the linebacker, making a tackle for Hilton Head High. Second and eight now. Hilton Head flipping the linebackers. Micah Burton in motion, low snap. Green takes it and controls it. And he turns it into a first down for May River and he just keeps on going. And after he was hit, he went for another 10 or so. What a play by Ahmad Green for the first down. Just a terrific individual effort as he follows Micah Burton and the right side of that offensive line. They got takes him at it about 45, and then he yeah. takes it uh, all the way into Hilton Head territory. The legs just kept pumping. First and 10 now for May River from the Hilton Head 45. Green back, he's looking to air it out. And the ball is picked off by number two, Cole DeMarzo. And just like that, Hilton Head's going to get the ball back. So an underthrown ball by Ahmad Green. Cole DeMarzo is right there, and Hilton Head is back in business. Ahmad Green's first interception toss of the season. He's already thrown eight touchdown passes. That's the first time he's had a miscue. And now the Seahawks 
get a chance to get a little something going. We want to remind you that the MVP award at the end of the game is brought to you by the Charles Sampson team at Charter One Realty. See on the Hilton Head sideline, all the students dressed in white. It is nightgown, pajama night. <laughs> Nobody told me Hilton before Head I eyes. got here. You would have wanted to bring your teddy bear. You're darn right. Yeah. That and my baba. First and 10 now for the Seahawks from just inside midfield. And immediately Gaston Moore is airing it out. Intended receiver was DeMarzo. Pretty well covered on that yep. play though. So that'll bring up second and 10. OT Decor, thanks to our sponsor, OT Decor offers unique lighting designs. Visit their website, otdecor.com, to find the perfect accent to your home. Second and 10 now for the Seahawks. Moore back to throw it again. Throws it across the middle, and he has about five there to number 16, Jeff Gordon. Maybe just a little less than that. One minute left now in the first quarter. May River leads it seven to nothing. They took the oh, their first possession and just plotted downfield about 63 yards. So third and seven for the Seahawks now. Moore takes it, fakes a handoff. And now he's doing some running, and now he's down, and that May River defense got to him again. Jonathan Gaston in on the play, 18, also number 48 in there for May River. Red Harrell. Yep. Was right there, and that'll bring up fourth down, and this will definitely be a punt for Hilton Head. And this is gonna take us right down to the end of the first quarter. So at the end of one, May River leads it seven to nothing. The best bargains in the low country are at the Salvation Army Family Thrift Store in Beaufort. Stop in and see the selection and feel good knowing all items in the store are donated and all profits from them stay local to help families in need. There's 50% off colored tagged items every day, and you can also help by donating clothing, furniture, and other items in good, clean condition. All donations to the Salvation Army are tax deductible. Visit the Salvation Army Family Thrift Store at 164 Robert Smalls Parkway in Beaufort. Hilton Head Island's pristine beaches are one reason the area has boomed over the past 50 years, and Hilton Head Exterminators was there in the beginning. We covered the island, protecting homes and businesses as the island's first pest control company. Since then, we've expanded to protect homes and businesses beyond the island into Bluffton and the surrounding low country. Everywhere you look, you'll see one of our vehicles. Hilton Head Exterminators, here in the beginning, and we're still here, growing along with the communities we protect. The life lessons that I learned playing football are priceless and started much earlier than my NFL career. As part of a team, I learned accountability, discipline, and the value of hard work. But the most important lesson is safety. Keep your kids safe during practice and during the game. Educate yourself and your kids. Learn the symptoms of concussions and how to prevent them. Everything starts with fundamentals, but remember, safety is first. For more information, visit PeacockLoves.com. One of the challenges I faced with picking a college was I'm a full-time firefighter, so I knew I would struggle with being able to take classes. TCL offers a flexible schedule, and I was able to complete 90% of my classes online. I earned a business degree in fire administration. I'm currently a lieutenant with the City of Beaufort Town of Fort Royal Fire Department. I'm Ross, and I made it happen, no matter what. And we open up the second quarter here at Thin Est on the campus of Hilton Head High for the Highway 278 Bowl. 
Jacob Weaver into punt, and he gets another pretty good one away. Let's see what kind of bounce this takes. Another favorable bounce. And he's got that roll down, Bob. It's like a golfer looking to control their spin, you know? He does a really good job. And I think you can tell by the way his foot hits the ball. The ball is going to go and roll. We'll see when he tries to pin him if he can do it the other way and can make the ball bite like a pitching wedge down inside the 10-yard line. Land nice and soft like a yeah. butterfly with sore feet. That's how we like to say it. Okay, I thought that was all right. Very colorful. <laughs> so... Dan Jenkins. Bay River will take over inside their own 10 yard line at about the seven. They lead it seven to nothing. Mod Green takes it, immediately hands it off, and there's Brandon Morales, and it doesn't take him long to bust out. He gets a quick 20 and immediately a first down. Let's go over to the sideline with Jeff Shane. And I'm here with the first of the Good Hall of Famers that we'll talk to tonight, Sarah Manasotis. Basketball, soccer, track and Sharks field, cross country. What didn't you play line. here? <laughs> all right, I know. <laughs> I've been very lucky that I've been able to play actually all the sports. So um, I know now that they have a rule where you can't play more than one sport during a season. So I got by, you know, without that rule when I was here. So I was lucky. When you heard about that rule, yeah. were you thinking? Yeah, that I was like, good. I finally got all these letters, so that's good. <laughs> I got out when I needed to get Broke out. Down the yard line. Did you have a favorite, or were you just one of those that whatever sport was in season, that's my sport? I liked them all. Um, I just think. First down, Sharks. No, I loved them all. I loved them all. <laughs> loved them all. <laughs> Sarah went to Clemson. Yes. And uh, and ran cross country, ran for I a did. couple of ACC yes. uh, championship teams. Yes, um, indoor and outdoor Time two out seasons, Seahawks. and then to got to a point Tate where I was like, ah, I'm gonna play college. soccer again. So I ended up playing Hill soccer instead. Athletics. So I had to, you know, get both of them in there. There you go. Um, favorite memory from your athletic days here as a Seahawk? Probably um, just the team and the com you know, the camaraderie and things like that. Um, I actually still keep in close touch with some girls that I ran cross country with. So um, we're called the Crazy Eight, so I still keep in touch with those guys. <laughs> and you're also here as the junior varsity basketball I coach. Am, yes. <laughs> What's that like for you? Um, I just enjoy coaching. I actually coach with my dad. He's my assistant basketball coach. Um, so it's kind of, you know, nice to give back to something that gave me, you know, meaning to be here. So it's nice. Sarah Manasotis, a woman of all seasons. Back to you guys. Well, we congratulate Sarah. They're going to have a ceremony at halftime to induct her and a handful of others. Jeff's sideline report is brought to you by Turbyville, your local independent insurance agency that has you covered throughout the low country. We have a Village Park Homes timeout, but we're ready to resume now. As we were away, Brandon Morales rolled in for another first down, and May River has it out to about their own 40-yard line. Ahmad Green's going to keep it himself this time, and he's going to pick up about 13 yards. And the May River Shark running machine Ahmad is Green back in three. action. Right over Brought midfield. Tackle on the play was made by Bradley Morris, defensive end. But Green breaks loose again. We mentioned that Brandon Morales had to sit the We first have a dead quarter. ball on sportsmanship against May River. And that's one that Coach Rodney Summers is not going to be happy about. They're going backwards 15 yards for a little something that happened there with giving somebody the business at the end of the play. Let's go over to Jeff Shane again. I'm here with Bill Wrightson, the most decorated coach on the Seahawks in Seahawk history, 13 That's state titles. He's the, the man that established a powerhouse in cross country and track and field here uh, at the Nest. And, and Bill, congratulations. And uh, the, what does it mean to kind of be inducted amongst some of these athletes you coached? Well, it's a, a, an awesome experience, a great honor. Uh, I told the uh, parents and the kids a while ago uh, Mark Twain had a saying that if you see a turtle sitting on a fence post, you know that he didn't get there by himself. <laughs> and so I had, uh, by count, about 100, uh, 210 all-state runners, um, a lot of kids that worked very hard at their craft, and they and the parents that supported me in the program 
had an awful lot to do for getting us, uh, getting me where I am today. When you got here, I mean, you you have had success even before you came to Hilton Head, but did you see something the in the Hilton Head student body or, or, or the residents here that you knew that, that they could turn into something special? Well, no, I, 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 I didn't right coach right cross country Austin before I came to Hilton Marshall Head, Head. Ten, but, the, but I, what I did see was my daughter do the sport. Okay. And I just fell in love with it. I was always a runner myself, but never got into the science of the uh, training. And uh, once I did, I liked that. I liked the kind of overachieving kids that came out for the sport. And it was a lot of fun to, to work with those types of kids and push them to their limits and see what they could accomplish. You mentioned overachieving kids, and of course, you've got state titleists. But sometimes the overachieving kids are the ones closest to your heart. Are there one or two that come to mind? Uh, oh, my God. You know, for 15 years, it's too many to mention. Uh, the girl that uh, the interview you did just before mine, Sarah, she's one of the reasons I'm here. She was a state champion, multi-time. Uh, she was a solid runner for us. Uh, David Adams, one of the great, great runners of this school's history. So it's just, you know, a lot of kids, a lot of great kids. Too many to name. <laughs> 13 state titles, and now you're in the Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Bill Wrightson, on a fantastic career. It was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed the journey. Thank you very much. <laughs> Outstanding. Back to you guys. Okay, Jeff. Well, there's a very decorated coach, Bob. Well, Jeff called him the most decorated. He's also decorated tonight with the yellow ribbon that is being worn by many of the Hilton Head students and uh, folks like that. We will explain a little more about the yellow ribbons that are also being worn by uh, Coach Rodney Summers when we come back for this Village Park Homes timeout. Turbyville Insurance Agency has you covered in Beaufort, Bluffton, and throughout the Lowcountry. We are your independent insurance agency who will give you choices for peace of mind on your home, auto, business, life, health, and retirement plans by finding the best combination of price, coverage, and service. At Turbyville Insurance, we'll keep up with your changing insurance needs and are committed to customer satisfaction. Call us today and experience the Turbyville difference. Home is that magical spot where weekends happen. It's tea parties and superheroes. It's one more bedtime story. It's your first, your last, and everything in between. Home is where you belong. We get it. Whether it's your first home, your next home, or your dream home, we want to build you the very best home for your life. Let us help you get started. VillageParkHomes.com. Close to everything. Far from ordinary. Beam Graphics Printing Company. We specialize in custom printing, screen printing, embroidery, engraving, trophies, team uniforms, business uniforms, signs and banners, and much more. We are conveniently located in the heart of Bluffton at 12 Johnston Way across from the post office. For all your printing needs, call the locals at Beam Graphics, 843-837-9663. You can also check us out online at beamgraphics.com and like us on Facebook for specials and design ideas. At Georgia Southern University, we're setting the standard for higher education in Southeast Georgia on three exciting campuses in Savannah, Statesboro, and Hinesville. We're offering more opportunities for hands-on learning, more ways to help our students find a career, and more economic impact on our region. At Georgia Southern University, discover more, connect more, be more. Florida and South Carolina residents get in-state tuition at our Armstrong and Liberty campuses. And we resume play here, first and ten now for Brandon May Ryan River. The sideline report by Jeff Shane right before he went to commercial is brought to you by Turbyville, your local independent insurance agency that has you covered throughout the low country. Shark on a stick. I've never had that before. I've had a lot of foods on a stick, but I've never had shark on a stick. That I'm quite sure of. And I was just in China for a week. They didn't even have it over there. Okay. Tough bunch at Hilton Head High. Tough bunch. Brandon Morales now tries the left side. He's been tough to bring down so far. He's got Brandon the better Morales part of five is. yards right there. Gain of about five on the play to the 44 yard Tackled line. by Makai Aiken for Hilton Head High. Aiken with a tackle with the Seahawks. Second down Technical College of the Low Church. Country. Don't forget, make it happen no matter what. 
the yellow ribbons. You see the one on Coach Rodney Summers and on many of the folks here at Hilton Head High are in honor of Michael Mugridge, the youngster from May River High who passed away a couple of weeks ago from cancer after a brave battle. We, of course, honored him last week in the May River Whale Branch game. And folks here at Hilton Head High wanted to remember and honor a fellow teenager. And that's why the yellow ribbons for uh, teenage cancer being worn tonight all over the nest. Brandon Morales with a tough piece of running there. He's going to come up just short of the first down. Bring up third and one now. Morales takes it right up the middle and he easily has a first down, gets down to about the 32 yard line and May River is back in business. Cole DeMarzo has to make the tackle and your safety is your leading tackler. That's generally not a good thing when you're trying to stop the running game. Again, Regardless if it's the runner pass, you don't want one of those defensive backs being your leading tackler. Great job again by their May River offensive line getting their running back to that second level of the defense. Village Park Homes is your true hometown builder. Close to everything, far from ordinary. Right there, Travis Plight Grant gets the carry this time for the first time tonight. And for the first time, Hilton Head's able to put a quick kibosh on the run. Travis Plight Grant with the carry. Plight Grant getting stopped by a host of Seahawks, but a great play again by DeMarzo to slow things down. And then Jack McGoldrick making the Stop. DeMarzo has been busy on both sides of the ball oh. so far this evening. Pajama night. <laughs> Everybody has white high. pajamas. Yep. Second and 12 now for May River. Green throws a quick pass out in the flat and he was down. Jack Hegan got that ball, but he was immediately uh, down, but they still picked up a couple. Just under eight and a half minutes left here in the first half. May River leads it 7 0. Jack Egan's fifth catch of the year. Two of his first four went for touchdowns. That's a good percentage. Yeah. That time he had the knee down when he caught the ball, and that's why down by contact. So May River looking at a third and eight now. Green takes it, gives it to Morales, and that's been a recipe for success so far, but this time, once again, Cole DeMarzo puts the stop on him, and that'll bring up fourth down. More than likely, May River will go for it here. Elite Physical Therapy, be an advocate for your health care. You have a choice. Choose the best, Elite Physical Therapy. Fourth and eight, one of the first times May River's been in a negative kind of situation on a later down. They've had third and ones, third and twos all night. Ahmad Green in the shotgun, he's gonna take it. He's gonna keep it himself and he's gonna come up short and Hilton Head's gonna take over on down, so just I'm when Hilton Head needed a stop, they got line. it, the Seahawks get the ball back with 7.17 left in the first half. Jalen Wright, defensive Jaylen tackle, Wright, making a great play down. right here. After things got slowed down, he stuffed it. Elijah Thompson set things up and Is held up the running down, back a little bit right at the line nine. of scrimmage. And the Seahawks the take over on downs. We want to remind everybody to stick around at halftime for the Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet Halftime Show. Myself, Bob, and Jeff will be recapping first half action and predicting Karnak style, what we think might be happening in the second half. Oh, and we'll also be talking more about the Hilton Head High Hall of Fame. Tim Singleton will be our special halftime guest, one of the greatest players, and of course, a coach of the Seahawks. As DeMarzo catches, or does not catch the pass second thrown out to the right side. It'll be second and 10. Gaston Moore's ball just a little bit low for DeMarzo. Hilton Head looking to take it down now, try to get some kind of points on the board here Looking before the half. Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet, before you buy, give us a try. May Rivers dominated things throughout much of this first half and yet only lead seven to nothing and the Seahawks could tie it up if they could make something happen here on offense. 
Gaston Moore with a pass over to the right side, in and out of the hands of DeMarzo, and that's the first thing that DeMarzo hasn't done pretty darn well tonight. Right in the bread basket, that one just kind of slipped out, and that'll bring up third down. All the great plays he's made, that's the one he's going to remember. That's the way it works. Yep. We've also got a flag on the play, though, and that's going to push the Seahawks back. It looks Likely like he's a holding taking call. about 10 paces, so that's generally a hold. Seahawks will So that'll bring back second and 20 now. Kyle Deere, the center for Hilton Head High. He's a junior. He's one of the replacement players for an injured Seahawk tonight. Ball thrown over to the left side, looking for Deontay Richard to have a little bit of room to run, but the ball goes in and out of his hands. Now the Seahawks have themselves in a tough third and 20 position, somewhat deep in their own territory. The guards for Hilton Head High, Jalen Wright and Conrad Alford. The tackles, Nick Mangan and Jay Roberson. They're just trying to give Gaston Moore enough time to play pitch and catch with his receivers. Third and 20 now, just over seven minutes left in the first half. Moore takes it, looking to air it out once again, and he does right over the middle, and it's intercepted. Taken there by number five, Terry Fields, and he's still going, and he gets it down inside the 10 yard line. So just when Hilton Head gets the ball back after stopping May River on fourth down, they have they move backwards a little bit, and then on third and 20, Gaston Moore throws it, Terry Fields picks it off, and May River now is back in business. Terry Fields plays a great center field for the May River Sharks. He has the pick there and the return. That's his second interception of the season and the second pick thrown by Gaston Moore. Terry Fields, an all-around player, scored a touchdown on offense last week. We've got a flag on the play. We got a dead ball on sportsmanship. Hilton Head. Penalty is on the Seahawks. So the penalty will move the ball halfway to the goal yep, line. Yep. Make it even easier for May River to try to punch one in here. It appears whatever the call was, Coach B.J. Payne was not happy. OT Decor, thank you to our sponsor, OT Decor, who offers you unique lighting designs. Visit their website, otdecor.com, to find the perfect accent for your home. Let's go to a Village Park Homes timeout. Ready for a new look in your home? It's time for some new ceramic tile or stone from Creative Interiors Carpet One. We feature the area's largest selection of ceramic tile, stone, and decorative mosaics to fit your unique style. Our long history with top manufacturers let us offer the best prices on all the major brands. We'll help you with what works best for your lifestyle and take the time to discuss your options. Locally owned, we're your neighbors here at Creative Interiors of Buford. For all your floor covering needs, visit us at Creative Interiors Carpet One on Boundary Street in Buford. Hilton Head PSD offers convenient and secure online billing. Just have your PSD bill handy and click on the online bill payment button at hhpsd.com. You'll be guided through the steps to establish your online billing account. Their payment options allow you to set up recurring credit card payments, you can view your consumption history, and more. Remember to have your PSD bill handy when you visit hhpsd.com to get started. Hilton Head PSD, we're always working for you. So with 6.50 left in the second quarter, May River are knocking at the door again. They have first down and goal from about the three and a half yard line. Ball goes to Brandon Morales and he's gonna waltz into the end zone for a TCL touchdown. And just like that, May River goes up 13 to nothing. Brandon Morales now up over 500 yards for the season. That's his fifth touchdown rushing. Also has a couple of receiving touchdowns. Out of the doghouse for missing that Monday practice. Saw no action in the first quarter, but has come in and made significant impact here in the second quarter. Came into the game with 450 yards on the season. Watch Bradley Morris. Yeah, tried to make the tackle, but he tried to do it with just his arms and threw it for the touchdown. 
Extra point is good. May Rivers on top, 14 to nothing. Have you been hurt on the job, injured in a car accident, experiencing marital difficulties? Nairt and Dubois are attorneys located on the south end of Hilton Head Island. With their extensive experience and knowledge of the law, they can help you on your legal matter. Nairt and Dubois offer free initial consultation. So whether you have been hurt on the job, injured in a car accident, or experiencing marital difficulties, call the attorneys of Nairt and Dubois now to schedule an appointment to learn about your legal rights. Elite Physical Therapy has enjoyed being your physical therapy provider for the past 10 years. They focus their attention individually with each and every patient, providing a hands-on approach to accelerate your recovery so you can get back to the active lifestyle to which you're accustomed. At Elite Physical Therapy, you'll be treated by the same licensed physical therapist every session to work towards goals you set together. Take control of your health care and choose the best in physical therapy. So with 6.46 remaining in this first half, Brandon Morales takes it four yards to pay dirt for May River and they open up a 14 and nothing lead here at Hilton Head High in the Highway 278 Bowl. Most of their damage has been done on the ground. Doing everything they can to exploit all the injuries that Hilton Head High has been dealing with. Short kick this time, taking it about the 25 yard line. Looks like, was that Cole DeMarzo again? It sure was. <laughs> and he's doing it just about everything. We'd say usually somebody's gonna be tired at the end of the game. He's gonna be tired at the end of the half. Yeah. Good, good thing it might be a little bit longer halftime with the uh, Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Yes. He could use all the time. All those players in shorts, those are all the injured Seahawks on their sideline. There is enough to make almost a whole other team well, as Coach B.J. Payne said, he wasn't going to risk anything. He wants them to be ready for regional action as we move on later in the season. Not that he's not doing everything he can to get a victory here tonight, but he's not going to risk anything that might happen down the road when we're nearing playoff time. Yeah, region's yeah. what counts. Great and defensive Gaston play. Moore hands it off to Will Frith, who goes nowhere. Travis Polite Grant making the tackle. The Charles Sampson Group of Charter One Realty presents the MVP award at the end of the game. Don't forget to stick around for that. Second and 13 now for the Seahawks, trying to get something going, some kind of points on the board here before the half. Moore once again in the shotgun. He's gonna take it and air it out over to the right side. And it's picked off again, this time by number 18, Jonathan Gaston was in and out of the hands of a Hilton Head receiver. Gaston had the sense to keep his eye right on it. He grabbed it before it hit the ground. Jeff Gordon not able to get his hands on it. And once again now, May River is back in business. Great opportunity now for May River to really put a stamp on this game early and to make Hilton Head play from deep in a hole, not only physically, but emotionally. Going Amad under Green. center, Look at that. Green. He's right up under center for the first time tonight. He takes it and they're gonna give it to number five, Terry Fields, who had an interception just a bit ago. Fields not able to pick up anything there. Great all-purpose player. He last week had a touchdown reception. He can run the ball a little bit. You can throw him in there as a receiver. And of course, plays great job at secondary and the uh, secondary as a safety for the Sharks. Picked up maybe a small one on that play. Now, second and 10. Brandon no. Morales gets it again, and Morales is in open field. Morales is inside the 20, down to about the 12-yard line. May Brandon River with another first the down. They're knocking on the door again. Jack Brought McGoldrick helping make the tackle there. But it's another first down for the Sharks as they try to take advantage of the turnover. And so turn May the Seahawks River now, into Shark Bait. 
First down now from about the 12 yard line. Green back in the shotgun, gives it Morales again over the left side. Morales running for the pylon. Morales is in for a TCL touchdown. And just like that, May Rivers back in the end zone. They lead it now 20 to nothing. Brandon Morales, his second touchdown of the night. Yeah, he says, keep feeding me as he heads over toward the sideline. Missed the first quarter because he missed practice on Monday. But a great job by the left side of that offensive line. Gabe Long at center. Big man Ferguson, the left guard. Joseph Whitaker, the left tackle. It was a race to the left pylon. Morales won it in his Nick Lewis for the extra point. Kick is up. Kick is good. And with 5.08 left in the first half, May River leads it 21 0. The Hilton Head Home Builders Education Foundation has been providing local high school graduates in Beaufort, Jasper, and Hampton counties with scholarships for over 25 years. The Education Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit charitable organization formed to support and raise funds for continuing education. Donations are vital to the success of the program. To become involved, or to contribute to the Hilton Head Home Builders Education Foundation, contact HBA staff today. Your home is one of your greatest investments, so why let just anyone protect it? Come see our professional team at Kinghorn Insurance in Beaufort. As an independent insurance agency, Kinghorn and Beaufort can provide customized coverage to meet your needs, from flood and water damage to windstorm protection. Our team has the expertise and experience to meet your needs. We proudly represent the Sage Shure family of companies, so come see why we've been earning trust and building relationships since 1898. So as we come back in with 5.08 left here in the first half, the May River crowd looks to be pretty happy with what's going on. Yeah, when they start swaying like that, all I can be thinking is fins to the left, fins, fins to, to the, the right. right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and I you're like the it. only bait in town. Yeah, We're talking it? sharks, right? All right, Nick Lewis kicks it off. Nice deep kick all the way down about the seven yard line. Ball comes out to about the 25 and that's all he's got. Hilton Head Exterminators, keeping low country homes and businesses bug free for nearly 50 years. Go to HiltonHeadExterminators.com. Jeff Gordon bringing out the kick for Hilton Head High. The Seahawks first down brought to you by Cover Air. Thanks for your support. I, so, so as I said just a minute ago, Hilton Head looking to get something yeah. going before halftime, but they were only down 14 to nothing then. A very competitive first 18 minutes or so. Almost 20 minutes, but then two scores by Mary River in just a minute and a half. They scored with 6.46 left, and then with 5.08 left after the uh, interception. And they take two picks and turn them into six. Deontay Richard back to take the snap now. He's gonna take it and keep it. They're gonna try to do a little something on the ground. He picks up about two and that's all. And this is now, Bob, when they really miss Sterling White because yeah. now they can just really go ahead and start stuffing things in and really slowing Hilton Head down, knowing they have to go to the air. Yeah, Richard puts his gloves on. He's going to be a receiver. As Hilton Head High looks over to the sidelines for a play. There's Gaston Moore, who's <laughs> looking for the quarterback. Yeah, he is in it, it there. It looked like they had everybody but. <laughs> Gaston Moore back in the shotgun, and referee blows the whistle. Looks like Hilton Head's going to go to a timeout. We're going to go to a Village Park Homes timeout. Timeout, Seahawks. Jeff Althoff here with Low Country Insurance. Let me ask you a couple questions. Do you trust your current insurance agent? Do you even know who your insurance agent is? We are a trusted choice independent insurance agency. We make insurance human. Our expert agents walk you through hand-picked options with language you can understand. We are local and here to help you. Give us a shout, Low Country Insurance.
We are Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your touchdown energy partner. Okay, Gaston Moore takes it, throws a pass to Deontay Richard that looks like it was a bounce pass incomplete, and that's going to bring up third and seven now. A basketball practice breaking out early. A little bounce uh, pass. A little bounce pass. He did a good job of containing it, but unfortunately in this game, that would be a no good. Third and seven for the Seahawks. Richard comes into the game with nine receptions for 253 yards, and he has eight carries for 120 and two TDs. And they're going to need him to get going a little bit if they're going to do something. And on third and seven, another incomplete pass. And that'll bring up a punting situation for Hilton Ed with 4.07 left in the first half. Intended for Jeff Gordon, thrown a little bit high. Gaston Moore coming over and talk to the offensive staff. Steve Fuller still up top. Plenty of help down low as well, coaching Gaston Moore and the Seahawks. Fuller, the former Clemson quarterback. Played there collegiately and in the pros played at. Well, Kansas City and of course with the Bears. The, the Bears. Super Bowl. The Bears. Bears. Jacob Weaver, been their best offensive weapon with a couple of long punts. That time, Terry Field smart enough to just catch it. Don't let it hit because we know it'll run 20 more a yards. A good 20 <laughs> yards, exactly right. So with 401 left, May Rivers offense, the running machine comes back out onto the field. And they're looking to add to an already what looks like mountainous 21 to nothing lead. But Bob, they really have more or less dominated this first half, even without the turnovers. Well, they really had, but the turnovers have given them such excellent field position. Hilton Head's turned it over three times. That's what B.J. Payne said they could not do, and May River has three scores. Ahmad Green takes a shotgun. He's going to keep it himself, and he's got a little bit of room to run. He picks up probably four, maybe close to five. He rolls over in some pain, though. Bounces back he up. He went backwards pretty good. Yep. Cole DeMarzo again on the tackle. Turbyville Insurance is your local independent insurance agency that has you covered throughout the Low Country. And DeMarzo grabbed him by the right leg and started twisting until second and he six. Went down. Morales takes it and he's got another first down for May River. Brandon Morales carries. Picked up about seven. What do you think the clock? Is the Sharks' friend right now? They just love to just milk that clock and march it down the field. The clock is plotting down, as is May River's offense. Just shy of midfield now. Clock stopped on the first down. Now it starts again. Hilton Head's desperately looking for a stop here before the half. Ahmad Green fakes the handoff. He throws it deep down the middle. And there were three Seahawks there, only one Shark, and Ahmad Green, Ahmad Green was lucky that one didn't get picked off. Yeah, it was intended for Jack Egan, but really the closest guy to the football was Deontay Richard, the cornerback. OT Decor offers you unique lighting designs. Visit their website, otdecor.com, to find the perfect accent to your home. Second and 10. Just over three minutes left here in the first half. May River leads it 21 to nothing, and we've got a little action happening before the snap. Somebody moved early. Stephen Kiner will tell we us got who. Dead ball, ball start, May River. So that'll back them up five. The rest of the officiating crew the umpire is Shane Roberts, the head linesman Al Hammonds, the line judge Billy Sanford, the back judge John Dotson. So second and 15 now for May River, just over three minutes left. Ahmad Green in the shotgun, takes it, gives it to Morales, and Morales finds some room and he'll pick up the better part of about nine. That'll bring up third down and probably about six. It's nice when you can take a second and 15 and 
turn it into a third and six just by running it up well, the middle. I was middle. about to say without having to put a yeah. ball up in the air. Yeah, that's, a, again, a great job done by that May River offensive line. So Morales in doing some running now after turning those running duties over to Roger Grant in the first quarter. Morales backs at it, and he's just rumbling right down the field. He has two of the three May River scores so far. Ahmad Green takes it, he rolls to the left, throws a little pass over there, incomplete. He had his man. Ahmad Green passes left. Is Number 41, Micah Burton. But so it went I'm, in and out of his hands, and now Coach Rodney Summers has to decide what he wants to do. Gonna send the kicking team out. With just 2.16 left until halftime, Terry Fields will be the punter. Of course, what he can do offensively and defensively, I'd be surprised if he were to do something here. Fields low snap, gets the kick away, gets a high kick away. DeMarzo's gonna let it bounce around and it's gonna be coming to rest of just about the 18 yard line. So, with just over two minutes left in the first half, Hilton Head will take over at their own 18. Seahawks with their usual complement of receivers and linemen and whatever, could go 82 yards in two minutes and leave some time on the clock. But with Sterling White out, with Nathan Dees and Alfred Young out. The mission becomes that much harder. Yeah, it sure does. Okay, Gaston Moore back in the shotgun now for Hilton Head. He takes it and rolls to his left. He's looking to air it out and throws a little dump pass to Deontay Richard, who's trying to do something with it. He's got enough for a first down. Does not get out of bounds, so the clock keeps running. Hilton Head trying to push it upfield, gets something on the board here before halftime as they trail it 21 to nothing. Low snap, Moore is able to take it though. Another pass over to Deontay Richard, who this time gets out of bounds to stop the clock with 140 left. B.J. Payne working the linesman there on the play before he thought Richard had gotten out of bounds. The referee said no, got an earful, and the next time actually Richard made definitely sure got he got yeah, out of bounds. Definitely got out. But then B.J. made sure he got the call. Moore back to pass, and he's doing a little running now. Dumps the ball off. They pick up about four to Deontay Richard again. Eli Hall on the coverage. Barrow, Hall, Folk, and Ridge Dow, the linebackers. Done a terrific job at limiting the offense of the Seahawks. Clock continues to go. There's a low snap. Ball is on the ground. And it looks like Hilton Head keeps it. That could have been somewhat disastrous. So Hilton Head holds on to it, and that'll bring up third and seven. And we go to a Village Park Homes timeout with just over a minute left in the first half. The best bargains in the Low Country are at the Salvation Army Family Thrift Store in Beaufort. Stop in and see the selection and feel good knowing all items in the store are donated and all profits from them stay local to help families in need. There's 50% off colored tagged items every day, and you can also help by donating clothing, furniture, and other items in good, clean condition. All donations to the Salvation Army are tax deductible. Visit the Salvation Army Family Thrift Store at 164 Robert Smalls Parkway in Beaufort. Hilton Head Island's pristine beaches are one reason the area has boomed over the past 50 years, and Hilton Head Exterminators was there in the beginning. We covered the island, protecting homes and businesses as the island's first pest control company. Since then, we've expanded to protect homes and businesses beyond the island into Bluffton and the surrounding low country. Everywhere you look, you'll see one of our vehicles. Hilton Head Exterminators, here in the beginning, and we're still here, growing along with the communities we protect. So as we come back, it is in fact fourth down and nine for Hilton Head. 
They are going to punt. Jacob Weaver back to punt again. Snaps away, he gets his kick off. Another good kick. And let's see if this one takes another favorable bounce, which it does. And it gets down to about the 17 yard line. So May River will be 83 yards away from getting more points before this half ends. So with just under a minute left, Ahmad Green and company will come back on looking to maybe put something else on the board or they might decide that 21 nothing is fine for them for right now and just run it out and down. Rodney Summers gesturing and gesticulating to the uh, referee on kind of what his plan is. We're gonna let it go or we're gonna go ahead and try to do some things and may call a timeout in a big hurry. That's big man Ferguson 69, the 5'10", 280 pound junior. Flanked there by Joseph Whitaker, 67. He's a 260 pound senior. <laughs> they have done a lot of damage. Running well, we left with that, Gabe Long, the 285 pound senior center. That line that Bluffton had last year with four out of the five offensive yep. linemen over 300 pounds. This is a big May River team. They've got some size up there. And they're exploiting it tonight by making big holes that both Brandon Morales and Ahmad Green are running through. Our MVPs of the game two weeks ago when they beat Bluffton was that offensive line. Once again, Morales gets it. He goes right up the middle. He'll have enough for a first down. Brandon Morales series to the 30-yard line. First down, Sharks. We want to remind you to stick around for the Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet halftime show. Myself, Bob, and Jeff will be recapping the first half. Green takes it again to Morales again. He goes down and this is probably gonna run out the first half. So as the clock winds down, I stand corrected. Rodney Summers is going to take a timeout. We're gonna to go to a Village Park Homes timeout. The life lessons that I learned playing football are priceless and started much earlier than my NFL career. As part of a team, I learned accountability, discipline, and the value of hard work. But the most important lesson is safety. Keep your kids safe during practice and during the game. Educate yourself and your kids. Learn the symptoms of concussions and how to prevent them. Everything starts with fundamentals, but remember, safety is first. For more information, visit PeacockLoves.com. I just wanted something that was local and more affordable. TCL makes it easier for me to be a mom and go to school. Being able to pick my classes, pick the hours, work around my work schedule, take a lot of courses online. The friendly staff members and it being affordable, it's the best option. I'm a second year student at TCL. I am Naomi and I made it happen no matter what. Elite Physical Therapy has enjoyed being your physical therapy provider for the past 10 years. They focus their attention individually with each and every patient, providing a hands-on approach to accelerate your recovery so you can get back to the active lifestyle to which you're accustomed. At Elite Physical Therapy, you'll be treated by the same licensed physical therapist every session to work towards goals you set together. Take control of your healthcare and choose the best in physical therapy So with 13.9 seconds left now, May River, second and nine, ball goes to Morales again. He's got some more running room. He gets himself over the 40 yard line. It should be enough for a first down. Makai Aiken makes the tackle for Hilton Head High. A first down that'll stop the clock with six seconds left. May River's gonna get to run one more play. First down to play. May River leading 21 to nothing here. Morales gets it one more time. He goes over the left side. And that's gonna take us to the end of the first half. So here at the Nest on the campus of Hilton Head High School at the Highway 278 Bowl, May River leads it 21 to nothing. We'll be back with the Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet Halftime Show right after this.
Looking for a unique lighting fixture that'll have everyone talking? Check out OT Decor. We have thousands of lighting fixtures that are perfect complements to your house. We carry Kitchler, Monte Carlo, Murray Feist, Savoy House, Siegel, and more. Visit our website at otdecor.com to find the perfect accent for your home. Or stop by our showroom and visit with our experienced professionals for a personal touch. While you're here, check out our custom cabinets and vanities. Home is that magical spot where weekends happen. It's tea parties and superheroes. It's one more bedtime story. It's your first, your last, and everything in between. Home is where you belong. We get it. Whether it's your first home, your next home, or your dream home, we want to build you the very best home for your life. Let us help you get started. VillageParkHomes.com. Close to everything. Far from ordinary. We welcome you into the Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet Halftime Show. Chris Tremblay along with Bob Stevens here at the Highway 278 Bowl. It's been all May River so far. They lead it 21 to nothing. They've done it on the ground, but they've taken advantage of turnovers. Yeah, they really have. Uh, you heard in the pregame show, uh, B.J. Payne say they had to play a clean game. They had to limit the turnovers and take advantage of any turnovers they could get. Uh, they got an early turnover, were not able to take advantage of it, and now they've turned it over three times, and it's turned into three scores. The two in the second half within 90 seconds of each other. Interception, drive it down and score. Interception, drive it down and score. Really no surprise the way May River's done it either. They've done it on the ground, and once Brandon Morales got in there in the second quarter, he took it to the house twice, and he's just been able to pretty much run at will. He has. He's had over 100 yards in the first half, and he didn't play in the first quarter uh, because he missed practice on Monday. Oops. So, yeah. Oops. May River's gotten everything to go their way. Uh, Hilton Head High uh, will now try to do something, make something happen, give them something to build on. And they're not out of this game completely yet if they were to get a couple of turnovers to go their way. Uh, but otherwise, they've got a lot of work to do. When we come back, Jeff, Saint, Jeff Shane has a special guest, doesn't he? He does indeed. It's Hall of Fame night here at Hilton Head High. When we come back here, we're going to have Jeff Shane and his interview here on the Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet Halftime Show. Turbyville Insurance Agency has you covered in Beaufort, Bluffton, and throughout the Lowcountry. We are your independent insurance agency who will give you choices for peace of mind on your home, auto, business, life, health, and retirement plans by finding the best combination of price, coverage, and service. At Turbyville Insurance, we'll keep up with your changing insurance needs and are committed to customer satisfaction. Call us today and experience the Turbyville difference. Before TCL, I was I served in the military for five years. So I knew I didn't want to be a single mom in the military, so I did decide to go to school. My whole family has graduated from TCL and has had great success here. Right now, I'm a recent um, nurse graduate. I want to be a nurse practitioner. I can't think of what TCL hasn't done for me. I am Thomasina Smalls, and I made it happen no matter what. Elite Physical Therapy has enjoyed being your physical therapy provider for the past 10 years. They focus their attention individually with each and every patient, providing a hands-on approach to accelerate your recovery so you can get back to the active lifestyle to which you're accustomed. At Elite Physical Therapy, you'll be treated by the same licensed physical therapist every session to work towards goals you set together. Take control of your health care and choose the best in physical therapy Halftime at Hall of Fame night here at the Nest on Hilton Head Island. May River leads, but there are a lot of stars that uh, came out at halftime and were honored. And we have 
one of the longer <laughs> tenured ones here in Tim Singleton. Tim, you were a player here. Yes, sir. You were a coach here. You've been a parent sitting in the stands. Yeah, uh, it's covered kinda, all the gamuts, haven't I? <laughs> I was going to say, it's kind of come full circle, hasn't it? It has. We're real proud of this place. Uh, Hilton Head is a special place. Uh, the administration and all the families and fans have done an amazing job. We got a great history when so it comes down to, to you by um, <laughs> all the different Half folks time, that uh, have done a great Cooper job in this area. I don't know if you can hear me, but I can't hear myself. <laughs> but quarter, I'm real proud to be a Seahawk. Woodland, How much has it all changed in over 20 plus years? Uh, it's changed, changed drastically. The, the expectations have changed. Uh, the athlete has changed. The administration has changed. And time, you got to be a special Hayward person to be able to deal with all the different levels of change. So. Um, in the uh, you know, quarter, very fortunately, we still one of the best uh, organizations and high schools in the state. So that's real some, something to be really proud of. The, the fact that Hilton Head wins year after Third year the all sports Canadian title, that's got to be a source of pride. It speaks for itself, and it, and it says a lot about the commitment to the, from the and administration time, on down. Academy, um, all the special people, the zero. guys that came before me, the great coaches like Dan Utley. And Bob Arundel and, and Tom Gatto and the Simon score. Frazier's John for the support the and all the different people that's been involved. Quarter, 14, so it says 15, a lot, and it, uh, we'll probably take two years to have that discussion. Area scores <laughs> brought to you by Loco Sports. You came back your and you actually coached sports. your alma mater for a number of years. When you are when it's your alma mater and half the island knows you, how different is that that now you're in a position wow. of authority? Yeah, it's a different ball game when it comes. The expectations are higher. You see people every day. They expect things. They expect you to coach like you played. It's just a different uh, level um, when it comes to expectation. But it was a great challenge. I was proud of the work we put in. And we were a building block for the future. Um, just like Coach Utley left it in great hands, I thought I did a good job trying to give the coach B.J. Payne a, a step up, and he's done an amazing job with his team. So real proud to be a Seahawk. How difficult is it to coach as well as you play? Wow, extremely difficult. <laughs> Ask the likes of the Magic Johnsons of the world and all these guys that stepped on the seat and Isaiah Thomas, and they didn't have the same success. It, it's another type of discipline, and uh, you have to table your expectations personally in order to have great team expectations. And so that way the team wins and you don't – hold people so accountable and it gets in a different uh, level of, of, of gunk. So you can, uh, it's different, it's a lot different. And then you had the third phase of your athletic career here, not as a participant necessarily, but as a parent and bringing Bryce Singleton along. I, I got to ask you, you had all the records. <laughs> Somebody was going to break them, but how wow. special is it that Bryce broke your records? Well, I'll tell you what, that's the best component of all this. Uh, my career and my coaching has, it takes all a backseat to being a parent to Bryce Singleton and Jordan Singleton, my two boys who I watch play uh, the various sports and uh, thrive in different areas and have the discipline. But Bryce is a special talent on the football field and, a, and an even better person. And my young son Jordan is a hell of a lacrosse player as well. I'm looking forward to watching lacrosse this season and basketball with them. So real proud and, and, and some of my best work just to be that parent. And you were mentioning before the halftime ceremony, you've got to get out of here very early in the morning because you've got a college football game to watch at gotta, FIU. Yeah, i got to go. Uh, they're actually playing in Virginia, and I'm going to travel up to see him and uh, support him and uh, surprise him a little bit and uh, looking forward to it. How enjoyable is it to be able to watch Bryce play at the college level, at the Division I college level in Conference USA? Extremely exciting. Um, and not to mention all the guys that are, are expecting great things out of him. And you see other uh, coaches that uh, say the things that I've said to him for the last 20 years, and it comes to fruition. It's really special. How's your interaction with Butch Davis at FIU? Love Butch Davis. Um, he's a great coach, uh, great mentor. I stay out of the way. I keep my opinion to myself unless they ask. And he'll make a phone call and ask me my opinion on certain things, and that's the only time I'll give it. Otherwise, I'm just Bryce's father and nobody to them. But the program is a very um, family-oriented uh, place, and Bryce loves it, and I'm real proud of him. And you mentioned Jordan. That you, you, you still got one more to watch yeah, and enjoy. I do. Uh, I'm real proud of the lacrosse thing. Jordan has come a long way as an athlete and as a student, and uh, he's doing an amazing job with the coaching staff here is developing him with the lacrosse thing because I knew nothing about it. Real proud of it. <laughs> Player, coach, parent, he's done it all. Tim Singleton. One of, the, one of the six inducted into the Hilton Head High Athletic Hall of Fame. We'll be back for the second half kickoff this right half after this. You Thank Head. you.
Your home is one of your greatest investments, so why let just anyone protect it? Come see our professional team at Kinghorn Insurance in Beaufort. As an independent insurance agency, Kinghorn and Beaufort can provide customized coverage to meet your needs, from flood and water damage to windstorm protection. Our team has the expertise and experience to meet your needs. We proudly represent the Sage Shure family of companies, so come see why we've been earning trust and building relationships since 1898. Hilton Head Island's pristine beaches are one reason the area has boomed over the past 50 years, and Hilton Head Exterminators was there in the beginning. We covered the island, protecting homes and businesses as the island's first pest control company. Since then, we've expanded to protect homes and businesses beyond the island into Bluffton and the surrounding low country. Everywhere you look, you'll see one of our vehicles. Hilton Head Exterminators, here in the beginning, and we're still here, growing along with the communities we protect. Looking for a unique lighting fixture that'll have everyone talking? Check out OT Decor. We have thousands of lighting fixtures that are perfect complements to your house. We carry Kitchler, Monte Carlo, Murray Feist, Savoy House, Siegel, and more. Visit our website at otdecor.com to find the perfect accent for your home. Or stop by our showroom and visit with our experienced professionals for a personal touch. While you're here, check out our custom cabinets and vanities. And we are ready for the second half to get underway here at the Highway 278. Bowl May River leads it 21 to nothing. They will be getting the ball to start the second half. And Bob, it's pretty important that Hilton Head scores the first points of the second half. What yeah. did you say <laughs> at this point? Pretty simple analysis pretty there. Pretty simple. Yep. <laughs> They're a couple over par, they need a birdie. And right away, they've got a chance to get the ball, and they do. A fumbled kickoff, and right on the ball is Elijah Thompson. And just like that, the Seahawks have pretty much their best field position of the night. Ball goes off the shoulder pads of Travis Polite Grant and Johnny on the spot. Eli Thompson makes the play, and Hilton Head High has really their best position of the ball game. So just like that, Hilton Head has the ball. Looking to get on the board here to make a statement early in the second half. Gaston Moore brings out a fresh offensive line. Guys who have to go both ways. At least they'll be fresh for this first series on offense. He throws it over to the right side there. It looks like Cole DeMarzo has it. And he's got about seven. And just like that, Hilton Head gets positive yardage. I'm not sure if DeMarzo was signaling for a play there. It looking like he has leg cramps. Yeah, he's just stretching out those legs. First or second down at the 20, second and three. Moore gets it. This time he rolls to the left side, dumps it on over. Deontay Richard was looking to run with it before he had it, drops the ball, and that'll bring up third and three. Yeah, he had two May River Sharks covering him pretty closely. He heard some footprints or footsteps. Guess you don't hear less, footprints. But yeah, but they left footprints. Incomplete pass, third down, Seahawks. And this pretty much is four down territory for the Seahawks regardless at this point. Moore looking to the sideline, getting a change of play. Steve Fuller obviously sending in something different. Throws a little dump pass over the middle that gains nothing, and that's going to bring up fourth and three. So looking to do a little screen pass there to Will Frith. May River was right there on top of it, and now the Seahawks with their, safe to say, their most important play of the second half. And it looks like we're going to try for three. They're setting up for the field goal. Jeff Gordon will be the holder. Looks Jonathan, like Jonathan Orr, Orr is yeah, getting to set kick. to kick. 
or missed good a couple snap. last week. Ball is down, kick is up, and the kick is good. So, Hilton Head High, they do what we just said they needed to do. They got on the board first here in the second half. They only trail 21 to three now. Nice kick there by Jonathan Orr, had plenty of leg on it. Let's go to break. We'll be back right after this. Elite Physical Therapy has enjoyed being your physical therapy provider for the past 10 years. They focus their attention individually with each and every patient, providing a hands-on approach to accelerate your recovery so you can get back to the active lifestyle to which you're accustomed. At Elite Physical Therapy, you'll be treated by the same licensed physical therapist every session to work towards goals you set together. Take control of your health care and choose the best in physical therapy. So with 10.29 left here in the third quarter, Jonathan Orr kicks it through from about 37 yards out, puts Hilton Head on the board. And it seems as though the Seahawks have a little momentum now. And they're trying for a little squibbler and they're going for it again. It doesn't pan out this time. Number seven, Zach Brzezinski gets on top of that one. Let's go over to Jeff Shane, see who he has. Sharks take over. And I'm here with Alexander Zand Mitchell, the uh, one of the six newest members of the Seahawk Athletic Hall of Fame, class of 98, football, basketball. Uh, this area is known for a lot of multi-sport athletes. Uh, how, how was it uh, back when you played? Uh, it was good. Uh, I moved here uh, with my family in 97. Uh, fortunately, I only played two years here, but uh, it was good. Um, came in, met a lot of new friends. You know Brandon what I mean? Morales and, with the carry. I was always an athlete and, you know, playing football and basketball. It, it, you know, it helped me get closer Marzo. to the people on the aisle, and it was great. Second down and about four on the board. Did you have a preference? Uh, you were a part of a wonderful basketball team that had a 20 and 7 record, um, but, you know, football is, you know, for a lot of guys, that's the one that they're hard. Which was it for you? Uh, well, I was always football at heart, you know, just was able to play basketball, you know what I mean? But like I say, Brandon football Morales was always, you know, what I wanted to do, line. what I wanted to go on and play. Unfortunately, I had a, uh, a injury two, my senior Marzo. year and was only to play, I was First only down, able to play sharp. one game. Wow. So that kind of shattered my football, you know, dreams. But I went on and uh, rehabbed and uh, for the basketball season and ended up getting a basketball scholarship to Benedict College. And that's the advantage of playing multiple sports, I suppose. And you are the second member of the Mitchell family to be inducted into the Athletic Hall of Fame. You join Brandon brother Morales Nick. What's that mean in the family? Oh, it's awesome. Um, it just Run means a lot to know Tackle that, you know, they took us in, Rajon you know, he, he was only uh, here one year. He did just did his senior year here. But it means a lot how they, you know, they took us in when we got here. And I'm just glad to be a part of it. <laughs> Zan lives just outside Columbia these days, but you can tell he's got a soft spot for Hilton Head Island. Zan Mitchell, one of the newest members of the Hilton Head Island Athletic Hall of Fame. Back to you. Thank you, Jeff. His sideline report is brought to you by Turbyville, your local independent insurance agency that has you covered throughout the low country. As we've been away, May River's been plodding down the field, mostly on the back of Brandon Morales. And it looks like they're going to move forward just a little bit more now. Second and short on the penalty. Second and one now. Ball is on the Hilton Head 34 yard line. Morales gets it again. He's going to be close to the first down. Let's see where the referee spots it. Elijah Thompson, who made that fumble recovery a few moments ago, makes the tackle there. Junior Third linebacker. Short, tackle by Elijah Thompson. Third down. And we have third down and about a foot to go. Morales gets it and he gets the foot and a little bit more. And he gets the ball down to about the 27 yard line. So the May River running machine is doing its thing again on the tackle. Once again, Cole DeMarzo who has been one busy person tonight. Boy, he really has. He's got to have well over double digit tackles headed toward 20, but you don't want your safety habit to make 20 tackles in a game. Ahmad Green out of the shotgun. He takes it and rolls to the left and he throws it down near the end zone. He's got a man and that's number 15, Jack Hagan, who he said earlier in the game, just about half the time he touches the ball. 
on a reception. He scores a touchdown, and he just did it again there for a TCL touchdown. A great opportunity for Ahmad Green. He had nobody pressuring him and made a great fake. Watch him roll out to the left. Lob it up in the end zone. Hegan was wide open 29 yards later. It's a touchdown for the Sharks. And just like that, the extra point is good and the May River leads at 28 to three. We'll be back right after this. Looking for a unique lighting fixture that'll have everyone talking? Check out OT Decor. We have thousands of lighting fixtures that are perfect complements to your house. We carry Kitchler, Monte Carlo, Murray Feist, Savoy House, Siegel, and more. Visit our website at otdecor.com to find the perfect accent for your home. Or stop by our showroom and visit with our experienced professionals for a personal touch. While you're here, check out our custom cabinets and vanities. The life lessons that I learned playing football are priceless and started much earlier than my NFL career. As part of a team, I learned accountability, discipline, and the value of hard work. But the most important lesson is safety. Keep your kids safe during practice and during the game. Educate yourself and your kids. Learn the symptoms of concussions and how to prevent them. Everything starts with fundamentals, but remember, safety is first. For more information, visit PeacockLoves.com. So with 8.23 left here in the third quarter, just like that, May River strikes again. Ahmad Green on a 29-yard touchdown pass to Jack Hegan, who seems to catch the ball, and every other time he touches it, he's into the end zone, has put them up by 25. And nobody seems to want to get that, and they'll just sit on it, the ball will come on out. So a touchback now, and Hilton Head will take over and try to establish something here to get themselves back into this one. Technical College of the Low Country, make it happen no matter what. Real rally killing drive right there by the May River Sharks as Hilton Head, although they were held to a field goal, at least establishing something, trying to get a little momentum, and then May River just runs it right down their throat. Runs it right down and Ahmad Green strikes through the air on a beautiful pitch and catch. So Shark. Hilton Head now from the 20 yard line, Gaston Moore back in a quarterback. Takes it and hands it off immediately to Will Frith who's got a little bit of room and he picks up about 13 yards and gets Hilton Head a first down. So Hilton head off to the start on this drive they were looking for. For the rare first downs, the Seahawks have picked up running the football. Frith has been held down quite well. And of course the Seahawks have had to throw being behind all night. Frith gets the ball again. He tries the right side and this time he's not gonna get a whole lot and he's actually gonna go backwards for about two. Village Park Homes is your true hometown builder. They're close to everything, but far from ordinary. Michael Ludwig and Roderick Grant of that defensive line making a tackle there. 7.45 left in the third quarter. May River leads here at the Highway 278 Bowl, 28 to three. Bob Stevens and Chris Tremblay here along with Jeff Shane on the sideline. Gaston Moore rolls to the left. He throws a dangerous pass for Deontay Richard, which fell incomplete, fortunately for him. Defensive play made there by Jaden Boyd, the sophomore, who has been helped to his feet by Richard. There's the Hilton Head Seahawks student body, still behind their team on pajama night. They must sell a lot of white pajamas here on the island. <laughs> Just saying. Third and 12 now for the Seahawks. Moore back to throw once again, throws it up the right side and nobody was home. Cole DeMarzo was running down the field. Looks like Moore was expecting him to stop and make a little slant out there and nothing doing. So that'll bring up fourth and 12. And bring up a punting situation. We'll see Jacob Weaver come in again. So DeMarzo gets to come off the field for one play. And then he'll be back out there playing safety. Jacob Weaver's been a busy man tonight and he's had some beautiful kicks. 
he has that step to the side and then gives it a kick and he knows how to kick it so when it falls and lands it runs forward for him. Yeah, it gets a lot of spin on the ball. Watch this punt. Good snap. Gets another nice kick off and there it goes. This time it only went about four or five yards but still in the positive direction. So May River will take over at their own 28. 719 left in the third quarter. They lead at 28 to three. Ahmad Green brings the running machine back on. Brandon Morales has been the main workhorse tonight starting in the second quarter. He didn't play in the first quarter because he wasn't at practice on Monday. Monday was Labor Day. Some families were out of town and the price that Brandon Morales paid for that was not getting to play the first quarter. Joe now Tapscott in at quarterback. Number 12, yep. Joe Tapscott and he's got a man and there goes number 21, Wilson Mullis down the field. He takes it all the way down to the 18 yard line. So just like that, Joseph Tapscott comes in and completes a big pass and May Rivers back knocking on the door. They're gonna give him the whole play. Watch this again. Tapscott hits his receiver who fumbles the ball and then recovering it for May River, Wilson Mullis, a rarely used Player who picks it up and goes on. He's just a sophomore, or junior rather, class of 20. We've got a timeout on the field. The Village Park Homes timeout, 28-3, May River. Home is that magical spot where weekends happen. It's tea parties and superheroes. It's one more bedtime story. It's your first, your last, and everything in between. Home is where you belong. We get it. Whether it's your first home, your next home, or your dream home, we want to build you the very best home for your life. Let us help you get started. VillagePartHomes.com. Close to everything, far from ordinary. Turbyville Insurance Agency has you covered in Beaufort, Bluffton, and throughout the Lowcountry. We are your independent insurance agency who will give you choices for peace of mind on your home, auto, business, life, health, and retirement plans by finding the best combination of price, coverage, and service. At Turbyville Insurance, we'll keep up with your changing insurance needs and are committed to customer satisfaction. Call us today and experience the Turbyville difference. First and 10 now for May River from about the 20 yard line, low snap to Tapscott, he picks it up, gives it to Morales, and it makes no difference. He plows forward for about 10. And his average per carry tonight is not going down, that's for no. sure. He came in averaging just about six yards per carry, 150 yards per game, and came in with four TDs. He's up that by two so far. Low snap, Morales gets it again, and he's gonna go straight forward for his third TCL touchdown of the evening. Brandon Morales, 10 yards right up the middle. May River takes a 34 to three lead. His ninth touchdown of the season, Brandon Morales, the hot knife through butter behind that offensive line as he goes into the end zone. Coming in, he had four running and two receiving. Picks, picked up three more tonight. Extra point now for Bryce Summers. Snap is low snap. Tapscott takes it and he's just gonna throw it away. So the first pretty much unsuccessful, unsuccessful play that May Rivers had tonight down in the red zone. And they lead it now 34 to three. Before TCL, I was trying to find what school, what college would be the best fit for me. I come from a single family home and I couldn't ask my mom to pay a whole lot of money just for my education. And that's when I realized that TCL was the one that was gonna offer me peace of mind for my financial situation. They've offered me great quality education at a low cost. I'm on a transfer block to transfer over after the semester. I am Antonia and I made it happen no matter what. Yo lo hice posible, no importa que. 
Ready for a new look in your home? It's time for some new ceramic tile or stone from Creative Interiors Carpet One. We feature the area's largest selection of ceramic tile, stone, and decorative mosaics to fit your unique style. Our long history with top manufacturers let us offer the best prices on all the major brands. We'll help you with what works best for your lifestyle and take the time to discuss your options. Locally owned, we're your neighbors here at Creative Interiors of Buford. For all your floor covering needs, visit us at Creative Interiors Carpet One on Boundary Street in Buford. And we're back here with 6.57 left in the third quarter. May River leads it 34 to three. And they'll be kicking off again. Ball is off and away, not quite as deep a kick this time. And Hilton Head's just going to fall on them their own 32 or three, and that's where they're going to take over. Will Frith falling on the football, one of their more sure-handed offensive players. Let's throw it over to Jeff Shane on the sidelines. Perhaps the biggest member of the class of 2018 for the Hilton Head uh, Athletic Hall of Fame, Jeremy Darvo, and good reason. He was an offensive lineman, he was a track star, and now he's an offensive line coach. You're out on Friday nights practically every night, week of the fall. How often do you get to come back to your own alma mater? This is it, it's hardly ever I get to come back. So to, to see this and to come back and be a part of this again, it's so awesome. I mean, I, I love it here. There's so many memories I've had here. And uh, it's, it's awesome to come back. But no, we're, we're about four hours away from here, Valdosta State is. So we don't get back here very often. So I'm glad to come back and see some really good players out here tonight. Sure. I'm curious, the, how has the quality of football kind of improved uh, since you played here uh, almost 20 years ago? It's a lot faster. I mean, you see the tempo of the game and the amount of passing that goes on now. And uh, I mean, what Coach Payne is doing here is awesome. I mean, the offense he's running and what he's doing, it's really, it's really cool to see. But it's a different game. It's a more high tempo game. It's a faster game. And, and that's good. You see more athletic players, and, and that's always a, a good thing to see. You have played under some significant coaches, played at Louisville under Bobby Petrino. Right. Uh, you coached under Will Muschamp, Morales, formerly at Florida when you were there, now with the University of South Carolina. What do you take from working under some or playing under some of those guys? Uh, the big thing is, is intensity, right? And that's such Just a big part of football is, is being intense. I mean, everybody knows. Coach Muschamp, Coach Petrino, those guys are intense football coaches. And, and that's something that players respond to. If, if you have that intensity, they'll have it too. So that's something I've tried to carry with me. When I'm out on the field, I want to show those kids that I care. And I got that from those two coaches and, and other coaches that have come before me. So that's something that's big with them. And then just the whole organization, how to, run, how to run a program, not just a day-to-day -day operation, the whole thing, everything. Now, NCAA rules may prohibit what you can say, That's but right. you got your eye on anybody out here? <laughs> There's a couple good recruits out here. I can't tell you who, but I think everybody probably knows who several of them are. But there are a couple players out here that are that are good football players. We'll, we'll let you go watch their development a little bit more. Jeremy Darvo, class of 2018 Hilton Head Athletic Hall of Fame. Back to you guys. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff's sideline report is brought to you by Turbyville, your local independent insurance agency that has you covered throughout the low country. While Jeff was busy with the interview, Hilton Head, unfortunately for them, turned it over with a fumble. May River is back in business now. 525 left in the third quarter. They lead it 34 to 3. Number 11 there, Travis Blood Grant takes it. And that's going to bring up a, looks like they got a first down out of that. Yep, that was enough for a first down. First down, sure. Joseph Whitaker a little slow to get up. The Bluffton offensive line, or the May River offensive line, he's okay now. OT Decor, tackle. who offers unique lighting designs. Visit their website, otdecor.com, to find the perfect accent to your home. Tapscott now under center, takes it and gives it to Morales right up the gut, and Morales cuts to the left, and it's another race to the end zone, and he wins it for another May River TCL touchdown. The fourth time tonight, Brandon Morales has gotten into the end zone, and that puts May River up 40 to three. 27 yards sprint to the end zone. He beats Makai Aiken to Pater. And the route is on for May River. 
Nick Lewis in to attempt the extra point. Little high snap, kick is away, kick is up, and kick is good. So, with 4.57 left in the third quarter, May River has taken over this game in a big way. They lead it 41 to three. Beam Graphics Printing Company. We specialize in custom printing, screen printing, embroidery, engraving, trophies, team uniforms, business uniforms, signs and banners, and much more. We are conveniently located in the heart of Bluffton at 12 Johnston Way across from the post office. For all your printing needs, call the locals at Beam Graphics, 843-837-9663. You can also check us out online at beamgraphics.com and like us on Facebook for specials and design ideas. So with just under five minutes left in the third quarter on the strength of the running of Brandon Morales, May River has broken this one wide open. Morales has gotten into the end zone four times. Twice in the second quarter, twice in the third quarter. And a little pooch kick again this time. That's going to go out of bounds. Hilton head, head give... coach B.J. Payne was the closest one to catching that one. <laughs> It'll give Hilton Head High some decent field position for this possession, down 41 to three. This was not necessarily BJ's worst nightmare. His worst nightmare would be to get some more kids hurt, but it was something he feared would happen as his already thin roster was stretched out by a pretty darn good May River team. He talked about how well Rodney Summers and his crew have put things together here at May River in just their third season. Are you looking for a car? Don't forget Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet. Before you buy, give us a try. Well, they're actually calling it a procedure penalty and giving Hilton Head High the ball at the 37. So that's where they'll take over with 4.57 left in the third quarter. Gaston Moore back out of quarterback. Will Frith alongside of him, two receivers to each side of the formation. Moore back to pass and he throws it downfield deep and the only person there is a May River Shark. That's number 20, Jaden Void, and he almost came up with the interception right there. Well, he knows he's going to hear about it from Jonathan Gaston, the other corner, who has an interception, and Terry Fields, the safety, who has a pick. <laughs> and that one was right in the bread box. Oh. So he'll be, um, he'll be a little disappointed when he sees that one again, if he's not already disappointed. He had his sights set on that one. You can tell immediately the disappointment he had. Second and 10 now for Hilton Head. Little flip pass over to Deontay Richard, who's trying to do something with it. Stays inbound, clocks keeps running. Elite Physical Therapy, be an advocate for your health care. You have a choice, choose the best. Elite Physical Therapy. You see over the shoulder of B.J. Payne as he ponders his manpower situation. He lets Steve Fuller and crew call the offense. He calls a lot of the defense. Gaston Moore once again in the shotgun as he has been all night long. Spread out three wide to the right side. He takes it and throws it across the middle and he's got a man and that's our that's our go-to guy for the evening for Hilton Head. No, no, I thought it was Cole DeMarzo. My fault, that's number 29, Evan, Evan Elliott. Elliott. Just a freshman, and you could see some hesitation at the start of that play. Elliott wasn't exactly sure where he was supposed to be. Finally found a slot on the right side, made the catch over the middle, and the first down. This time, three split to the left side, throws it over there to Will Frith, who's not able to handle it, and that's incomplete. Be a second and 10. Here's that play before. And again, Gaston Moore hitting his receiver, and it's a freshman getting uh, 
some playing time. Evan and Elliott. We may see some more freshmen before this one's over. No red shirts you have to worry about. No, in not at this football. point. Absolutely not. Moore <laughs> fakes it to Frith. He tries to do a little running now, and he's just put down by a whole lot of sharks. Number 50, Caleb Folk was right there on top of him, along with number 19, C.J. Lisbon. Lisbon's coming off a bit of an injury. He did not dress last week because of an elbow problem. He's holding on to his elbow now, but he wants to stay in there. He says, I gotta get some playing time. I'll play through this. Can't blame him there. Our MVP award tonight is brought to you by the Charles Sampson team at Charter One Realty. Moore back to throw it again, guns it across the middle. He's got Deontay Richard, who's gonna take it all the way for Hilton Head's first TCL touchdown of the evening. So finally, the combination of Gaston Moore to Deontay Richard pays off and Hilton Head's in the end zone for the first time this evening. Gaston Moore looked off one receiver and then found a seam and then hit Richard streaking over the middle. He beats the linebackers and then the defensive backs into the end zone, 42 yards on the touchdown play. Gaston Moore and T Company are going for two. Deontay Richard gets in the backfield with him. Richard takes it around the right side, throws a little pass right there for a two-point conversion as Will Frith. And Hilton Head adds eight points to their total, so now the score is 41 to 11. Hilton Head is into the end zone. We'll be back right after this. At Georgia Southern University, we're setting the standard for higher education in Southeast Georgia on three exciting campuses in Savannah, Statesboro, and Hinesville. We're offering more opportunities for hands-on learning, more ways to help our students find a career, and more economic impact on our region. At Georgia Southern University, discover more, connect more, be more. Florida and South Carolina residents get in-state tuition at our Armstrong and Liberty campuses. Hilton Head PSD offers convenient and secure online billing. Just have your PSD bill handy and click on the online bill payment button at hhpsd.com. You'll be guided through the steps to establish your online billing account. Their payment options allow you to set up recurring credit card payments, you can view your consumption history, and more. Remember to have your PSD bill handy when you visit hhpsd.com to get started. Hilton Head PSD, we're always working for you. Okay, so with three minutes left in the third quarter here of the Highway 278 Bowl, Hilton Head finally gets it into the end zone. They trail 41 to 11. Didn't the Bills once trail 30 to nothing in a playoff game or something like that? It was a lot. 38-3, I, I think it when was. When I was at the University of Maryland, I remember in the fall of, well, I'll date myself, 1984, we were down 31 to nothing to the University of Miami at halftime and Frank Reich brought him back and we ended up winning that day. Well, of course, he was the one who brought the Bills back. That's right. And there goes number 20, Jaden Boyd. He's got some running room. He gets it out past midfield. He's all the way down to the 35 yard line. So just as Hilton Head strikes, a great kickoff return by Jaden Boyd and the Shark River, or the May River Sharks are right back in business. Bradley Morris finally making a tackle for Hilton Head High. He had about three chances at Jaden Voigt and finally got him down. What a great run. Giving us a little Emmett Smith look, kind of a shorter but very shifty running back. Bringing it deep into Hilton Head High territory. We have a whistle on the play. Either somebody jumped a little early or somebody was false starting. Timeout, or Seahawks. Or we have a Village Park Hawks timeout. Have you been hurt on the job, injured in a car accident, experiencing marital difficulties? Nairt and Dubois are attorneys located on the south end of Hilton Head Island. With their extensive experience and knowledge of the law, they can help you on your legal matter. Nairt and Dubois offer free initial consultation. So whether you have been hurt on the job, injured in a car accident, or experiencing marital difficulties, call the attorneys of Nairt and Dubois now to schedule an appointment. 
learn about your legal rights. Two forty-six left here in the third quarter. Pat Scott under center. Gives the ball immediately right up the middle. Travis Polite Grant with the carry down to about the 30 yard line. He's giving Morales maybe the rest of the night off. I actually thought the last series was gonna be the one where Morales was gonna begin to sit, but they left him in for one more. Tapscott will go under center. Travis takes it again and he's got some running room and he's gonna take it all the way to the end zone for a TCL touchdown. So just like that, Travis Polite Grant takes the ball to the end zone, picking up where Brandon Morales left off and May River ups their lead to 47 to 11. Travis Polite Grant, 30 yard dash through the secondary of Hilton Head High. A very tired secondary. They've been on the field a long time. They are running out of gas here late in the third. Ball is down, kick is up, kick is good, and just like that, May River strikes again. They lead it 48 to 11. We'll be back right after this. The Hilton Head Home Builders Education Foundation has been providing local high school graduates in Beaufort, Jasper, and Hampton counties with scholarships for over 25 years. The Education Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit charitable organization formed to support and raise funds for continuing education. Donations are vital to the success of the program. To become involved, or to contribute to the Hilton Head Home Builders Education Foundation, contact HBA staff today. And the Charles Sampson Real Estate Team MVP will be selected to receive the trophy. That's that for tonight's game, brought to you by WHHI TV. 208 left in the third quarter. May River now leads it 48 to 11. Travis Polite Grant just took it 40 yards to the house for a TCL touchdown. Nick Lewis to kick it off. Little pooch kick lands at about the 36 yard line and May River comes up with the ball. Nashawn Green trying to cover it for Hilton Head High. And they're gonna say Sharks ball. We're still waiting for a signal. I thought whoever had it for Hilton had appeared as though he was down with a knee down, but they're saying it's May River's ball. Let's take a look at this again right here and no. Again, Nashawn Green was down for it, but he did not come away with it. He did not have control and May River takes over. Stefan Gadsen picks it up on the fumble. Turbyville Insurance is your local independent insurance agency that has you covered throughout the low country. Nope, now they're gonna go ahead and give it back to the Seahawks. Association Services, thanks for your support, Seahawks Athletics. 207 left in the third quarter. May River has broken this one wide open, 48 to 11. On Rodney the Summers of a wants game. more. He's got one of his coaches has to bring him back to the sidelines. He wants to know why they didn't get the football. And that's I'm, a good question. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm not sure either team, they both want it, but I'm not sure how badly either one of them wants it with the score the way it is. And, this much time left. Richard. He takes it right up the middle and he's got a little room to run and he picks up a first down and gets over midfield down to the May River 46. Good hustle by Deontay Richard. They spread the receivers out that time, got some isolated blocking and he was able to break it for a pretty big run. Yep, on the Wildcat, all you need is one good block. He got it, finally brought down by Defender for May River was Michael Gonzalez. Richard stays in the quarterback position there. He takes the snap again and throws it over to the left side there for number nine. That's Jack McGoldrick, who takes it down to just inside the 40 yard line. And he took a little bit of a hit there, a little slow to get up, but he's up on his feet. 
McGoldrick, a defensive back, got to get a chance to play wide receiver. A lot of guys are going to get some opportunities to do some things they're not used to doing. I guess that's the positive side of injuries. As you see the May River Sharks student body. A lot of happy campers. Deontay Richards still taking the snap from center, goes back, throws it down the middle. He's got a man, Jack Gordon, who wasn't quite able to hold on to it. He got a hit there from number 22, Michael Gonzalez. And a good try, a nice ball by Deontay Richard, but very good defense, and it'll come down to third and three now. We have a flag on the play. Penalty will be against the Seahawks. Steven Kynard picks up the laundry and they walk back across the Seahawks side of the 50. Holding, he open head, repeat, take it down. From the standpoint of penalties tonight that aren't unsportsmanlike, so to speak, we've had a pretty clean game. Yep. Compared to some of the hanky fests <laughs> we've had in the past. Deontay Richards still in the backfield taking the snap from center. He tries running left, instead has to cut it back in, gets back over midfield. So he picks up a little bit back on second and 17. It'll bring up third down now. Third and about 13. Richard rolling and then cutting back. Good step there to get back into no man's land. and Found a little running room. We're now under a minute in the third quarter here in the Highway 278 Bowl. May River dominating 48 to 11. Their running game has just done it all tonight and capitalizing on a few turnovers at the right time. And they've been pretty much unstoppable on the ground. Deontay Richard throws ball a little bit low there and that'll bring up fourth down. And in again to punt now comes Jacob Weaver. That's really the first time we've seen Richard throw a pass that looked like it was a wide receiver throwing a pass. It did, as the rest not a of his balls have He's zinged the ball around pretty well tonight. Weaver's been the Seahawks' best offensive player. A terrific punter, working from inside his own 40. Takes a good snap, does his usual run to the right side, gets his end over end kick. Taken there by Terry Fields on a fair catch, and May River will take over at their own 16-yard line with 30 second, 36 seconds left in the third quarter. Hilton Head Exterminators, keeping low country homes and businesses bug-free for nearly 50 years. Check out HiltonHeadExterminators.com. That's HiltonHeadExterminators.com. May River substituting liberally with their backfield, the skill players. But the big guys down in the trenches, you still see 77 Gabe Long at center. Tap Scott takes it, gives it once again to number 11, Travis Polite Grant. Connor Kovacs is still in there at right guard. Will Wilson is still in at right tackle. Travis Polite Grant to carry. Short of the and they've still got their regular guys. Joseph Whitaker at least on left tackle. They have substituted at left guard for big man Ferguson. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter. So after three quarters of play, May River leads it 48 to 11. We'll be back right after this. Jeff Althoff here with Low Country Insurance. Let me ask you a couple questions. Do you trust your current insurance agent? Do you even know who your insurance agent is? 
We are a trusted choice independent insurance agency. We make insurance human. Our expert agents walk you through hand-picked options with language you can understand. We are local and here to help you. Give us a shout, Low Country Insurance. Home is that magical spot where weekends happen. It's tea parties and superheroes. It's one more bedtime story. It's your first, your last, and everything in between. Home is where you belong. We get it. Whether it's your first home, your next home, or your dream home, we want to build you the very best home for your life. Let us help you get started. VillageParkHomes.com. Close to everything. Far from ordinary. And we're ready to start the fourth quarter here. The Highway 278 Bowl. May River leads at 48 to 11 on second and seven. Looks like the ball is loose and it looks like Hilton Head has it and they do. So just like that, like the first play of the third quarter, Hilton Head gets a turnover and they've got the ball back. Let's go over to Jeff Shane. And we have the final inductee of the night, John Pritchard, um, quarterback who May have been the first to actually throw or, or, or operate a, a throw-oriented uh, offense here at Hilton Head High. Um, my senior year, we threw the ball a lot more my senior year. Most of our talent was in our wide receivers, so we tended to throw a little bit more to them, let them make the uh, plays happen. And you were telling me off camera, you threw on the move a lot to, to try and get to get to your receivers. Yeah, it was all rollout passing, no drop back when we were running. So I was, I was either throwing or taking off running usually. Not only an outstanding athlete, but an outstanding student who got uh, appointments to all three military academies, wound up going to the Naval Academy uh, before transferring to South Carolina. And then uh, your, unfortunately your athletic career came to a sudden end. Yeah, I was uh, left the Naval Academy to transfer to play baseball somewhere and had a bad car accident, and then that was uh, basically the end of my playing career then. But he stayed in athletics as the assistant tournament director for the what's now the RBC Heritage. What were those years like working for Steve Wilmot? That was a great time. I interned there for two years, and uh, Steve became a very good friend of mine, still is to this day, and uh, spent about 10 years there and uh, enjoyed every minute of it. So it was a great time working for the Heritage. Favorite memory of your athletic days here, football and baseball? Um, oh gosh, probably uh, my sophomore year when we played in the state championship in uh, williams Rice in Columbia. That's the right. That was a pretty clean. memorable experience. Yeah, that's, that, that's big time stuff. Yeah, Sean fun. Pritchard, uh, the sixth of our inductees to the Hilton Head Athletic Hall of Fame. Back to you guys. Thank you, Jeff. Those were terrific tonight. His sideline report is brought to you by Turbyville, your local independent insurance agency that has you covered throughout the low country. Third and 10 now for the Seahawks. Gaston Moore looking to get them in the end zone again, and he hands it off to Will Frith, who unfortunately doesn't get what he was looking for, and that'll bring up fourth down. Ridge Dow, the junior linebacker, grabbed a hold of Frith and would not let go, and it'll bring up a fourth and 11. Seahawks are gonna try a field goal. Jonathan Orr brings the kicking tee with him. Jeff Gordon will be the holder. And this attempt will be from about 41 yards out. But we know Orr has the foot for it. Technical College of the Low Country. Make it happen no matter what. Jonathan Orr kicking for his job a little bit after a couple of missed field goals last week. But he made one tonight, and that one comes up just short. So the miss from 41 yards out will turn the ball over to May River High. They lead it 48 to 11 here early in the fourth. And just a continued dominating running performance by this May River team that's been so effective all year on the ground. With a win here tonight, it'll take their record to four and zero. Their next game is at Colleton County. They've already beaten Memorial Day 34 to 6, Bluffton 35 to 21, and Whale Branch last week 27 to 7. This is a school that won four games total in its first two years. And now looking to go 4 and 0 oh 
here in 2018. Tapscott takes it, hands it off to Polite Grant again. And Polite Grant's got some running room and now he's just got a leg race. He gets over midfield. And Travis Polite Grant is making a little name for himself here this evening. Might get himself some more carries out of this. He and very well might. What great opportunity for May River High to uh, have a second back that they could count on for some big yardage. Morales over 150 yards and four scores, and then Travis Polite Grant already has one touchdown and is across midfield here on this drive. 10.37 left in this one. Polite Grant caught from behind, this time by number 74, Jay Robinson. Mike Rickenbosch Chevrolet, before you buy, give us a try. Jay Roberson reminds me a whole lot of Tyreek Young, who of course played so well for Hilton Head High the last few years, is now at Temple University as the Seahawks take a timeout. We'll take one for Village Park Homes. Your home is one of your greatest investments, so why let just anyone protect it? Come see our professional team at Kinghorn Insurance in Beaufort. As an independent insurance agency, Kinghorn and Beaufort can provide customized coverage to meet your needs, from flood and water damage to windstorm protection. Our team has the expertise and experience to meet your needs. We proudly represent the Sage Shure family of companies, so come see why we've been earning trust and building relationships since Cooperative, your touchdown energy partner. And Travis Polite Grant takes it again, and he's got himself a first down. And down the field, the May River Shark running attack continues to go. OT Decor, thanks to our sponsor, OT Decor, who offers unique lighting designs. Visit their website, otdecor.com, to find the perfect accent to your home. The May River Sharks had been passing around the number four the first two games of the year in honor of Michael Mugridge, their classmate who passed away. Last week, they kept number four on the sidelines, and now they're sporting a decal on their helmets with the number four on it. That's the number Michael Mugridge said he wanted to wear had he been a football player at May River High. Travis Bleed Grant picks up another first down, gets the ball down to just about the 20 yard line. You know, he's got a chance at 100 yards. He does. Before this one's over, spelling Brandon Morales has run for almost 230 yards and four touchdowns in just over two quarters, or just under two yeah. quarters. Morales back in, he gets to the 20, and for one of the few times tonight, he stopped dead cold. Turbyville Insurance, your local independent insurance agency that has you covered throughout the low country. That's Turbyville Insurance. Roberson making the tackle for Hilton Head High. Again, much of that first team offensive line still out there. Still. Nine, nine minutes left. Brandon Morales gets it again on second and 10. He stopped right there, probably lost a yard on that play. 52, Jalen Wright making the stop for Hilton Head High. He's a senior. Village Park Homes is your true hometown builder. They're close to everything, but far from ordinary. Village Park Homes. This is how it's gone for May River tonight. The only one over getting ice on the sidelines is a cheerleader. They've had to work hard. They, they have. <laughs> Tap Scott puts it up in the air. He's got a man in the end zone. And once again, it's Mr. Touchdown, Jack Hegan. He gets another and May River ups their lead now. 54 to 11. Second of the night, fourth of the season on just his seventh catch. A 
And he was wide open behind the Hilton Heads High secondary. Hegan into the end zone for a TCL touchdown. Bryce Summers on to attempt the extra point. Snap is good, ball is down, kick is up, kick is good, and just like that, May Rivers on the board again. They lead it 55 to 11. We'll be back right after this. Jeff Althoff here with Low Country Insurance. Let me ask you a couple questions. Do you trust your current insurance agent? Do you even know who your insurance agent is? We are a trusted choice independent insurance agency. We make insurance human. Our expert agents walk you through hand-picked options with language you can understand. We are local and here to help you. Give us a shout, Low Country Insurance. The best bargains in the Low Country are at the Salvation Army Family Thrift Store in Beaufort. Stop in and see the selection and feel good knowing all items in the store are donated and all profits from them stay local to help families in need. There's 50% off colored tagged items every day, and you can also help by donating clothing, furniture, and other items in good, clean condition. All donations to the Salvation Army are tax deductible. Visit the Salvation Army Family Thrift Store at 164 Robert Smalls Parkway in Beaufort. Elite Physical Therapy has enjoyed being your physical therapy provider for the past 10 years. They focus their attention individually with each and every patient, providing a hands-on approach to accelerate your recovery so you can get back to the active lifestyle to which you're accustomed. At Elite Physical Therapy, you'll be treated by the same licensed physical therapist every session to work towards goals you set together. Take control of your health care and choose the best in physical therapy. So with 823 left here in the game, Joe Tapscott hits Mr. Touchdown himself, Jack Hegan, for his second of the night. As Bob mentioned before he we went to break, Hegan has seven catches this year, four of them for touchdowns. Lewis in to kick it off again. And everybody started and then they stopped. Fake kickoff. Fake kickoff, here we go. <laughs> and now he gives it a deep kick. This one's down inside the 10 yard line. Coming out there is Jeff Gordon and he gets it out over the 30 yard line. And that's where the Seahawks will start with just under eight minutes left. Let's go over to Jeff Shane for an injury report. It's another tough injury night on the Seahawks sideline. Cole DeMarzo, who is one of the main cogs for the Seahawks playing both ways, especially at safety on the defensive side. He's on the sideline now, his pads are off. He's got an ice bag on his left shoulder. So this night just continues to drag on uh, in a nightmare fashion for Hilton Head. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jeff. His sideline report is brought to you by Turbyville, your local independent insurance agency that has you covered throughout the low country. And Bob, that's the last thing Hilton Head needs to have happen is any more injuries on top of not playing that well here tonight. There was a time when B.J. Payne was a professional wrestler. This would be the time when you Lay down and tap out. Yep, <laughs> agreed. <laughs> Live nope. to fight another day. Live to fight, well, maybe somebody should go to elite physical therapy. Be an advocate for your health care. You have a choice. Choose the best, elite physical therapy. <laughs> that was pretty good timing, don't you think? Uh, that was all right. Well done. <laughs> Just about six and a half minutes left in this one. It's been May River pretty much from the get-go. Their ground game has just been terrific tonight as it's been all season. That's number 20 right there, Jaden. Or I'm sorry, number 20 is Connor Schmitz. Schmitz has had to play a little bit of defensive tackle in this game, but now getting to play. Running back, he's just a sophomore. Gaston Moore still in a quarterback. Looking to the sideline, changing things up a little bit. He gets the snap, throws it over to Jeff Gordon on the right side. Gordon does everything he can to pick up a couple and gets out of bounds. Don't forget to stick around for the MVP award tonight and it is brought to you by the Charles Sampson team at Charter One Realty. All right, 
Back in our day, it was Zippo lighters you would hold up to yeah. ask for an encore. Kids turned the flashlights on their phones. I know. Uh, how, about it? how about that? I don't think I know how to turn the flashlight on on my phone. That's a good thing. Yeah, I know. The May River team will move to 4 0 tonight. Their fan base certainly is excited about that. Five minutes left now. Ball goes to Connor Schmitz again. And he gets met right about where he started, and he didn't get anywhere. And that very effective May River front line has been a little bit too much tonight. Yep. Caleb Folk making a tackle there. He and Eli Hall, 32. Folk is 50. 35, Ridge Dow. Jordan Barrow appears to be getting the rest of the night off. The other, the fourth of the linebackers. Currently replaced by Cameron Gleason. Plays a little age back on offense. Moore takes it, throws it over to Jeff Gordon again. A play they just ran. Gordon tries to cut it back and make something happen, but nothing's going on there. And he'll be stopped for no gain. Don't forget about our friends at Peacock Auto Mall. Find it all at Peacock Auto Mall. Gleason and Caleb Folk making the tackle there as we get under four minutes in this one. Hilton Head High came to the battle with the gun not fully loaded. No, uh, certainly not that's... fully loaded. A third of their starters were yep. down, including their number one offensive weapon. And as we talked about at the beginning of the game, not only is he a great weapon, but he makes the defense focus on him and opens things up for the other guys. And they just haven't been able to get on track with any consistency tonight. A couple early turnovers really put them in the hole and May River was able to capitalize. And then as we mentioned, having to move guys around because of injuries, you weaken yourself at other positions. It's not like every team has you know, eight or 10 offensive linemen that can play. When you move somebody else into the offensive line who is used to playing defense, then somebody else has to go there. And makes it tough. Jacob Weaver and his busy right leg are back in to give the ball another boot. And this one goes end over end, and this one is not one of his better kicks. Ball goes out at about the 38-yard line, and that's where May River will take over Church with just Taylor over two and a half minutes left in this one. Yeah, a little high and wide right, a little bit like one of my eight irons. Kind of got it on a hosel. You caught it right off the hosel. It happens to the best of them. But it's good if you catch it off the hosel and still get it up in the air. It's not a total shank, it's just a partial shank. Okay. And it's still playable. You can still save your par and make bogey. There's the silver sound. Bay River High, they entertained us so much last week. Making the road trip from May River. Tapscott takes it, gives it off to the player wearing number four tonight. And we don't know who that is, do we? We don't. There had been some thought that they were just going to retire the four Hold and just wear the sticker. May River, repeat first down. All right, we'll repeat first down. Just under two minutes left in this one. May, May River leads at 55 to 11. Hang around, we got some hardware to give away. We do. One. We have the team presentation and the MVP award presented by the Charles Sampson Group of Charter One Realty. Michael Gonzalez getting a chance to run there. Well, the May River offensive line has already won the award. Ahmad Green has already won the award. Well, that offensive line has opened up some big holes for everybody again tonight. They've been extremely effective. And more than anything, you know, once Morales and once Ahmad Green and once Travis Khalid Grant have been able to get past that first wave of tacklers, they've had room to turn it on and exploit their speed, and they've been able to do just that. 
Number 22 there, Michael Gonzalez carrying the ball again. Only a sophomore. Maybe one more play needs to be run by May River as the clock counts down in the final seconds. Huge win for the Sharks. They're going to go to 4 and 0 on the season. Hilton Head High will fall to 3 and 1. Hopefully they can keep the ship afloat until they get to region play. They'll be at Ridgeland Hardyville next week. Tapscott takes Taps the knee. down. Tapscott's tapping out. Well, he has tapped out the Seahawks tonight. 55 to 11 the final score. Don't forget to stick around for our post-game presentations, both the team award and the MVP and the MVP award presented by the Charles Sampson Group of Charter One Realty. Once again, here at the Highway 278 Bowl, May River in dominating fashion takes home the hardware 55 to 11. We'll be back right after this. Looking for a unique lighting fixture that'll have everyone talking? Check out OT Decor. We have thousands of lighting fixtures that are perfect complements to your house. We carry Kitchler, Monte Carlo, Murray Feist, Savoy House, Siegel, and more. Visit our website at otdecor.com to find the perfect accent for your home. Or stop by our showroom and visit with our experienced professionals for a personal touch. While you're here, check out our custom cabinets and vanities. The life lessons that I learned playing football are priceless and started much earlier than my NFL career. As part of a team, I learned accountability, discipline, and the value of hard work. But the most important lesson is safety. Keep your kids safe during practice and during the game. Educate yourself and your kids. Learn the symptoms of concussions and how to prevent them. Everything starts with fundamentals, but remember, safety is first. For more information, visit PeacockLoves.com. And we welcome you into the trophy presentation here for the Highway 278 Bowl. A dominating performance tonight by May River. They win it 55 to 11 and for the third week in a row. <laughs> Coach Rodney Summers, you've got a little bit of hardware. Do you have somewhere to put this? Oh, we'll find a spot. We'll build something. <laughs> 4 0, oh, baby! Yeah! Yeah! Coach, assess the overall performance tonight of the squad. You know, obviously you started out pretty well scoring on your first possession. Then you were able to capitalize on a few early turnovers. Yeah, you know, we uh, came out. Uh, Rod Grant stepped up and ran the ball first quarter hard for us and uh, just dominated performance, I think, on both sides of the ball. And uh, offensive line controlled the line of scrimmage well. Defense got some turnovers. Uh, I was under the tent, didn't get to see some of them, so I can't wait to look back at the tape and see everything that happened. But uh, just a, uh, again, like you said, a dominated performance, and we're just happy we can come back and avenge that 55. Uh, nothing lost two years ago. We talk about a lot about your offense, and we talked about the linebackers and what impact they've had on the team. But defensively, the other guy, defensive line stepped up, yeah, and did. the secondary yeah, putting, stepped up, putting pressure on them and making them scramble a little bit. And you know, I think that forced the turnovers, had a few sacks, and just uh, defense played outstanding. And uh, again, when we can put them both together, uh, it's a special team. You've won both rivalry games now. Uh, I know that doesn't mean uh, that'll mean a lot when the season's over. But to beat Bluffton, to beat Hilton Head. Uh, you're the kings of the south of the broad. Yeah, we are right now. We are right now. We're going to use that windshield mentality, and we're going to celebrate tonight and this weekend and Sunday get back to work and get ready for Colleton. The offensive line tonight once again opening up great big holes, and when the running backs and Ahmad Green got into the secondary, they were able to exploit their speed. Yeah, the backs, you know, we, we just we didn't throw it much, but, uh, again, uh, we hammered it, and uh, it, it was just great to see. Can't wait to go back and look at it on film and see how many yards we did have running. Coach, congratulations on going to 4-0. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. When we come back, we'll have the MVP presentation right after this. Turbyville Insurance Agency has you covered in Beaufort, Bluffton, and throughout the Lowcountry. We are your independent insurance agency who will give you choices for peace of mind on your home, auto, business, life, health, and retirement plans by finding the best combination of price, coverage, and service. At Turbyville Insurance, we'll keep up with your changing insurance needs and are committed to customer satisfaction. Call us today and experience the Turbyville difference. The Hilton Head Homebuilders Education Foundation has been providing local high school graduates in Beaufort, 
Jasper, and Hampton Counties with scholarships for over 25 years. The Education Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit charitable organization formed to support and raise funds for continuing education. Donations are vital to the success of the program. To become involved, or to contribute to the Hilton Head Homebuilders Education Foundation, contact HBA staff today. And we welcome you into the MVP presentation presented by the Charles Sampson Group of Charter One Realty. Generally on defense, but tonight started in the backfield. Roderick Grant, congratulations on being chosen the MVP tonight. You had a heck of a first quarter. Got the team off to the start they needed. How did it feel to be in the backfield doing a little running early on? Felt good. I mean, I got a little tired, but I finished. <laughs> well, you didn't look very tired out there. A couple times the players had you. You just kept the legs coming. It took two, three guys to bring you down early on. I mean, that's what it takes. You can't stop. Just keep going forward. Usually on defense. How big were those holes, those offensive friends of yours, that offensive line was putting up tonight? Uh, it was pretty big. I got through it. I mean, I'd get through it anyway, either way. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, Coach, have we have a couple fourth and ones this year? Might we see our little friend right here uh, to come you, in? We do have a special package. We hadn't run it yet. So, uh, yeah, you might see it. Well, Charles Sampson of the Charter One Group here, you want to go ahead and give Roderick a little something? I do. Congratulations. You know, this is uh, three games in a row that you guys have won, Coach. Uh, and three plaques, three trophies. So you got one more game of the week. Roger, congratulations. Congratulations to your team, too. Yay! So congratulations to Roger Grant and the May River Sharks. They run their record to 4-0 with a convincing 55-11 to victory here tonight. For our production crew, Jeff Shane and Bob Stevens, I'm Chris Tremblay. Thanks so much for being with us. We'll see you next time right here on WHHI Sports.